Hello everyone and welcome back to the Boros Saga Bane's Break. <laughs> I am Vince Casso and I am your storyteller for this campaign. This is episode 12 of our adventure, the finale of season one, titled The Sad Sun. I'm, what? Our story takes place in my homebrew world of Boros and is completed by a wonderful cast of heroes. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Ash Ignis. I'm playing Asher the Half-Elf, half Elf Warlock. There we go. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Abrea Iyengar, and I drink my drink so fast that I'm trying not to burp, and I'm playing <laughs> Prithiv, your drop cleric. Hi, uh, I'm Aaron Gray, and I'm playing Luca Stone Talon, your air cocker monk. Hi, I'm Sage Ryan, and I am playing Curse, your tiefling druid. Hey, everyone, I'm Omar Najam. I am playing Jad Tafril, your tabaxi rogue. Oh. Hey everybody, I'm Kaylee Bray, and I'm playing Neela Beerbiter, your human pirate barbarian. Our last session found our heroes confronting Orm Silmer in the basement of a house in Kalasari, having discovered a shrine to the archdevil Malthus and a dissected body uh, currently being worked upon. Orm explained his pact with Malthus that a deal had been made to offer Malthus select pieces of the recently dead in Kalasari in return for the town's protection and its safe travel outside of Kesares during the Sundering. Well, they did seem satisfied enough with that answer and elected to retire for the night, Orm walking them back out and through the square. Approaching the inn after sharing a few more words with Orem regarding the nature of this arrangement and Kelisari itself, they found a horse missing that had been there not 20 minutes ago. A trail leading off into the woods as well. Now, of course, they were on the hunt for what could be sleeper agents or infiltrators, uh, callers um, of Oris's, um soldiers in the town, and this was a clue that there may have been something suspicious going on. But into the inn they went. Uh, as uh, Luca decided to teach Imia some martial arts moves to help her protect herself sans scimitar, the rest of our crew wanted to get into the room where these two were staying, the ones who had just absconded from the inn. They found a few odd things, an apple, a note uh, indicating that Orem was some person of interest to them, and what appeared to be some magical panes of glass and a window that uh, had a bit of conjuration and illusion to it that was promptly shattered. Uh, taking those uh, effects and then leaving, uh, Luca noticed these two individuals from the inn, just beyond the trees, discussing something in hushed, if a bit uh, cross tones, debating something, playing his flute and alerting his friends to that event. Jibe attempted to get a bit of info from them, uh, drunkenly stumbling into the forest. Um, they were standoffish, and eventually the group simply elected to go get them. Uh, <laughs> Boy, they all <laughs> they all became very stealthy. Luca took to the skies with Emia Emia's net, and uh, Nila lived out her most cherished fantasy um, and her one. most epic one-liner. As the two Pietro and uh, was it Erlen, uh, were finally confronted. Yeah, Erly. Erly were finally confronted. I name. <laughs> uh, they were not quick to give up intel. However, and it came to a bit of a tussle in which uh, Pietro's throat was cut almost back to the spine and uh, confronted with her very certain, if not demise, then difficult questioning, uh, Erily decided to peace out and <laughs> take as many of the heroes with them as possible. Uh, Quite a bit of damage was done, the explosion echoing through Kalasari, Pry getting knocked the fuck right out, uh, <laughs> and uh, many of our crew actually suffering very close to the same fate. A crowd gathered as they picked themselves up and got Pry back to sorts, 
And Orem uh, confronted them all to understand what had happened and quickly got to dealing with the mess as the townspeople were uh, calmed and uh, returned to their homes. Night came, rest took our heroes. Uh, Luca, however, had an unusual dream of a lady in linens and chains, blindfolded and speaking without moving her mouth, who spoke to him of fate, of destiny, uh, that of both the residents of Kesek Sume and of himself, where he planned to go and what he saw for himself in the future, and what he felt he'd be willing to give in exchange for the uh, result he would like to achieve for his friends, for his people, and for the world. It was cryptic and odd, and Luca woke up. Uh, <laughs> but not before the goddess asked to keep a specific bit of art that Luca had on him, which, by the way, he did then wake up without the following morning. I should mention. Uh, a horse activity was heard out front, <laughs> and the crew went outside to find an odd little man, Quarren, who was... I'll, I'll say hanging out with their horses. He offered to make them a deal in return for the stone, which they had found as an apparent source of the magic, the power of Maraud. Uh, he would offer them a couple of boons. One being the ability to avoid this apparent scrying or peeping that some magical entity was inflicting upon them, and the other to assist their horses to find them should they ever become separated. They agreed and offered him the stone in return, which he promptly took, promising that he would send any uh, results of his findings to the Bibliotheca Imperium, the great university and library in Traverse Peak in the Republic to the south. Our crew took off along the eastern road, a road not on any map and not carefully, and not terribly well worn, um, that is, the scant of traveler, as there are much better commercial thoroughfares throughout the continent. But as day turned to night and an unusual rain picked up, um, perhaps not unusual given that this is Verdane and it can get quite wet, but there were clear skies that morning. Nevertheless, as night came, they found themselves approaching a small hamlet and a tavern catering to the odd traveler who does pass this way, cutting across the center of the continent. They found a poster on the wall, once again advertising this new South March rebellion, and inside, the black-haired woman named Dia Rose, who looked back at them <laughs> and said, fuck's sake, and you're all able to get a good look at her now, as she sort of like half turned aside. At this point, you're following us. And she's looking a bit rough for wear <laughs> as, as Neela approaches. There's some light bruising, uh, the odd cuts and scrapes. It's been a, I'd say, a rough road for her, it looks like. Her wounds are covered in poultices and have a, an herbal medicinal sort of smell to them. Um, and she angles herself, as I'm assuming you're entering, filling into the tavern, mm -hmm. angles herself visibly, like physically sore on the stool a bit better to face you. <sighs> yeah, I I had a few bumps on the road south. You smell like mushrooms and mint. <laughs> it is mostly mushrooms and mint. Can I do something magic about it? Can, yeah, if you can, that would, I don't want to wear these if I don't have to, that would be great. <laughs> and uh, just very quickly like powder on the shoulder and cast cure wounds. Uh, yeah, so roll that. I want to see how much she gets back. Okay, okay, okay. The potion I gave her didn't help? It's been used. Oh. 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 There's a D8. I've never seen one before. <laughs> oh, no. It's not that good. Uh, six points. Okay, yeah. Uh, boop. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, her cuts do seem to close a bit. In fact, most of the aesthetic um, indicators of damage are... Uh, covered up and healed for the most part, but she does still look like she's. Are you still injured? It's just there was a lot of like, I'm just I'm a bit sore. I'm a bit sore. I'm a bit beat up. It's who you been fighting? One more. I'll hit her with one what? more. Oh no, level. I'm okay. I'm really okay. You're not. It's bad. I'm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a cat. 
15. Yeah, 15. And she stretches and cracks her back. Okay. Ooh. I'm fine. I'm fine now. Oh. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Also, starting to feel like these are really not coincidences. Why are you guys here? The rain? It's ra- yeah. Yeah. It's raining. <laughs> no, but like, do you know where you are right now? Not really. Like, this what, isn't a place you? people go. Why are you taking this road? If it's not a place people go, why are you here? Yeah, why are you here? Because I'm following up on a lead. Here? To where? A place lead. that's near here. There's just something that I need to check out. Can you stop on the way? Yeah, because it's raining. Oh, same. <laughs> I'm glad we figured that out. Okay, cool. Who are you getting into fights with? It's... It's a rough. It's a rough. It's a rough. The is biggest it? mood. Because like, you know, yeah, we, we, we've, we've gotten into a fight or two. I fell down a hill. Yeah, what? okay. You're just fighting the whole continent then. Yeah, look, I took a wrong turn. My horse slipped through a shoe and I took a tumble down a mountain. I want to do an insight check. Yeah, roll it. <laughs> Yeah, I believe her. <laughs> <laughs> 17. Incredible. I want to see these two. Oh, five. Yeah. No. Oh. 22. Okay, so Jibe, uh, jibe and Pry. <laughs> it's not that the, the three of you who rolled poorly, it's not that you don't, bo- like, you, you do believe, like, oh my god, of course. But it's yeah. more that she does seem sincere in what she's saying, and yeah. you also don't logically feel like, okay, would there be a reason for her to like, fight a ton of people on the way down here? Like, the roads haven't been that bad, so her story would probably check out. Um, Pry and Jive, all right, relax. <laughs> I get it, 22, I know. Uh, what if I rolled a net 20? Oh. Mercy alive. <laughs> the sheer insight of this bird. Um, what is your total? 25. Oh my god. Go. Luca has arrived. <laughs> you, you've divined her entire life story. No. Um, <laughs> wow. I'd say you and Pry have the best idea of this, and then Jive like coming up on the rear there. Um, relax. Uh, <laughs> Pry <laughs> and Luca, you obviously are picking up on the subtext that she has been through more than she said and doesn't really feel like talking about it. Um, I will say that with that, I know it's not a perception or investigation check, but you also get an idea of like, and this is also where you come in, Mm -hmm. you get an idea of looking at her that she's not like bereft of belongings. She doesn't appear to have been like robbed on the road. Um, Just like that she ran into trouble, but you can't tell exactly what that might have been. Okay. Okay. What? Okay, come here. And she's, because there's one other patron at the bar, and she's, like, trying to get away, gets up off the stool, and, like, walks to the other corner of the tavern. All right. Okay. Being weird about it, but okay. Look. Look, it's like one weird guy. I get him. Yeah, it's one, look, he's an odd guy. There's some old abandoned building in the forest to the south. I just need to check something out there, and I was recuperating for a bit before I head down. Wouldn't have to be like a tall building, would it? I don't actually know what it is. I was just told that there was a building there that has that I might want to look at. Hmm. Why is that funny? <sighs> what could anyone be in this part of the world for? Yeah. <laughs> well, unless you live here. And this, for any of you who, mm, you know what, Astrid would know this. Not many other people would know this. Um, This little hamlet is known as... uh, Where are we at here? Oh, it's in the previous notes. Uh, This little hamlet has a name, and you actually do remember it from your youth uh, as Lorade. It's not an area you've been to very often, and it, even in your time, is still just, like, a little off the map. Um, But you are not completely unfamiliar with it. Any... Okay... Unless you're, like, from here, there's no reason for anyone to be out this way. And I, that's why I was kind of, like, taken aback when I see you people walk in to this tavern tonight. I mean, you did tell us you were going south. Yeah, I went south. This is, I was going here. 
Are you here the whole time? You're the leader. Speak no, for Absolutely us. should not be me. Yes, I'll talk to the hot woman. Yeah. Those are your words, right? That's yeah. what you described her as? We already embarrassed me about the fact that I called her the sketchy hot girl. We did that in front of her before. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, so she's like, bring that up again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can we get some calamari? Uh, <laughs> no, um, but no, but Dia does order you something uh, from the tavern. I'll get us a round of drinks because it looks weird that we're in a tavern. And yeah, not absolutely. Drinking. Good point. So I'm gonna. Dia go is the, nursing a tea. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to the bar and get drinks for everybody. It's, great. it's actually really. It's made from the same stuff as the poultices. It's actually very good. It's very. It's very medicinal. Mushrooms and mint. It's, there's also some mosses, some lichens in there. It's really good. The moment you get out of earshot, I'm like, I don't trust any like weird plant magic. It's like, oof. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> mushing leaves and shit together. In my <laughs> experience, it works really well. Bright, and then you come back and I'm like, hmm? Bright literally saved your life at least once. I don't remember right. it because I was already dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair play. Uh, we are bringing us some. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the same direction. We're we've been sent. Place, we've yeah. been sent to the same place as you. As you clearly have. So I just possibly. I'm. I by th- who? No one knows about. I was told no one knows about this. Place. Well, who told you? Yeah, who told you about this? Somebody who. From. Who? Uh, someone who didn't tell you. I'm assuming. Okay. I don't think it's the same person. Well, then say it. I. It's just a friend of mine. What's her name? It doesn't matter. We, you know, a friend of ours told us to. If names we'll aren't tell important. Yours, oh my god, this you is... tell us yours. <sighs> you started this. Um, Galen. That sounds made up. I'll try and get an inside check. Yeah, I'll do an inside check too. To be fair, it wasn't a very high DC. <laughs> uh, uh, 15? 19. Wow, 15 as well. I mean, she sounds like she just Maybe. said a name. Yeah. I cast Zone of Truth. <gasps> yes. If you want to. I'm going to need a charisma save. A charisma save from everybody, please. Yeah, sure, that's mm-hmm. going to go great yep, for yep, me. Yep. That's a nat 20. Oh, that's a nat 20. never have to <laughs> lie. That's a 14. I'm coasting. 18, but I don't lie to you. So I'd say, I don't it. usually yeah. lie either, honestly. Mm-hmm. Luca doesn't lie. 15? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she failed the check, but obviously <laughs> she knows that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Everyone but her. <laughs> Go us! Yeah. Yeah. Like we just slowly turn our heads to her. And she looks at you like, <laughs> am I not allowed to keep anything to myself? Like but you it, asked it, us. You saw it. Yeah, because it's super weird that you guys are also here looking for this thing. We also think that it's weird that you're here looking for what thing? Have you not noticed that? For the, the, the building, the, the place. Mm, yes. Thing and place are <laughs> different. Okay, so no truth, I meant the place. Eh. <laughs> what did you say? Is that a fuck? <laughs> This bubble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh no, we're in the truth bubble. <laughs> uh, uh, we're also looking for this place because yeah. What I'm just trying to get at, like, what it means to you. Why? Because it just I feels like I genuinely don't remember. Uh, <laughs> no, no, follow that thought. It feels mm-hmm. like what? It feels like you don't have a reason to be here specifically. Unless, and I'm, not, I'm really not trying to make this about me. Good. It's yeah. just like everywhere that I am, you show up, I guess. Okay. It really does feel, though, that you're always at the places that we're going. That. that. Well, then why, what are you looking for? The same place you are, clearly. Oh my gosh. Why? Why? Is why? Galen. We're on similar paths to make sure that we can stop uh, giant magical forces from destroying pretty much the fabric of reality. I'll go ahead and say it. Yeah. I'll just say it. I'll say the truth. Okay. Fuck okay. Is it like a similar uh, thing to you? No, actually. I'm I'm not trying to do anything that grand. I just wanted some answers to questions that I had. And somebody told me. Who? That a friend of mine told <laughs> me that I could find them in a abandoned property that was owned by some elvish lord like so you were a just century ago following a mystery out of your own curiosity no there are answers that i want i want there's some stuff that i got to figure out and it's uh, i'm told it's down there okay 
What's got you risking up? life well, we and got, limb? We all got hobbies. Yeah, but what's got you risking life and limb for curiosity's sake? In cu- the current climate of the continent, you know well, what I mean? Well, I was also told that the owners of this property mm-hmm. were practitioners of certain magical arts. Mm-hmm. And there might be some uh, valuables inside as well. Oh, okay. Worth a lot of money and also of some uh, scholarly significance that uh, would be interesting for people to discover. So you want us to believe that you're just looting? I do want you to believe that. Is that the only reason? I said a reason. Is that the (laughs) only reason? I can have a lot of reasons for doing things. I'm gonna step outside of this thing. (laughs) Outside of what? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We should have fun with this though at some point though. Just like gassed it and then just like ask you. Who's your favorite person here? You are. Oh. You saved. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) She doesn't know that. Yes, I do. I I, I can tell when people. I just wanted you to be nice. nice. (laughs) (laughs) She got exactly what she wanted. It doesn't matter though. It's actually you. So, uh... Hey, we're both going to the same place. Yeah. Um, can we just agree that we can stick together for a little right. while? Right. Are we, are we comfortable with safety in numbers, at least for while our paths are aligned? You can save all of your mushrooms and mint for when you're on your own again. And she looks down at what you notice are, like, chunks of her attire, like, missing and, like, scraped away by, like... She might have also fallen down a mountain. That part might have been partly yeah. true. Um, and it looks down at her, kind of like just trash stuff. Okay, fine. We can, yeah, we'll hang out for a while. That's fine. We'll check out the, uh, we'll check out this property. And we'll all get our questions answered. And then we'll, uh, if we go, we gotta go our separate ways. We, we do that. We can, it's all good. Which of us do you like the most? Yeah, we kind of, like, corner her. <laughs> Into the zone. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she dislikes all of us equally. I That's have not so. formed strong opinions <laughs> on any of you. It can be flippant. It can be just like yeah, off the cuff. I Who's your favorite? Hate all of you. You also saved, right? <laughs> what a joker! I actually was really fond of Penny. We said of us. <laughs> yeah, that's the best I got for you. Sorry. Cool. I really had a good time with her. I actually miss her pretty bad. I'm look. I haven't strong, f- formed really strong opinions about any of you I yet. Healed you, and then you trapped did. you in a zone of truth. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand why maybe I'm at a neutral, and I will stop talking now. <laughs> I, I I appreciate it. Hey, um, I'm probably gonna drop a room for the night, okay. and then we can set off in the morning and check this thing out. Great. Hopefully the rain clears up. And then just, uh, you know, there we go. I've got one more question. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy to let you go. Yeah. That tumble off of the mountain uh, when you're a horse through a shoe. Yep. You worried about that happening again mm-hmm. anytime soon? Not particularly. I guess it's possible. Why? So. I, don't, I don't think it's likely to happen. Oh, I was doing like a subtle thing about. Yeah, do you think, yeah. are you being followed and are we going to be attacked? <laughs> Thank you. I thought that was so yeah. obvious. I picked up on it. Even yeah. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Did you actually fall <laughs> Even down you the mountain? I think you, that might have also happened. Did you seriously throw a shoe? I, took, I did take one tumble. Oh. That did that happen. I, that was part, uh, part was true. Yeah, okay. uh, I get your yeah. meaning now. Um, yeah, no, I'm actually, I'm okay. I mean, nobody who would want to, nobody who would want to follow me. Or like have a reason to come after me. Um, I don't know. She just had to cast two spells to make you able to walk upright again. So yeah, it's a lot of traveling, and I'm I haven't been out on. We've literally the road. traveled the same amount as you. <laughs> Pristine. And you died six times. <laughs> <laughs> have we died a couple of times? Yes. That and happens, I think, to everyone. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> there are people potentially following us. Potentially, definitely. But at the same time, all the ones we know about are dead. Have you solved your problem the same way? Ooh. Or is the threat still out there? Damn, that was cool. If you're yeah. worried that someone might be on my tail, yes, yeah. yes. it might be like a continuing threat. Yes. I don't yeah. think I don't think that's a problem. 
I don't think that's going to be an issue. Does that mean that you solved it definitively? Are they dead? No, no one is dead. I don't think that it's a problem. The okay. what the things I ran into, I don't think are going to be a problem anymore. Interesting. Sure. Okay. Well, why don't we right. sideways about that? I got a room. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to see you all in the morning. Okay. Uh, this has been odd. Yeah. And uh, good night. <laughs> At this point, it can't just be our fault that things are odd. Yeah. You get it's, to take I some was, of the responsibility for some here. of the oddness. I was, I, I was here first. I don't know. Go. <laughs> just go to bed. Uh, just yeah. go. Bye. And she gets up and goes to the back of the uh, of the the inn. So sketchy, right? So she sketchy. Is. I get the sketchy part. Where's the attraction that you feel towards her? Definitively hot. Very. Oh yeah. Objectively. Oh, this is, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, who's holding the <laughs> map that was given to you by Cal? I'm uh, pretty sure it's I, either Astrid or Ignacy. Pride. I probably gave it to you. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I just, everything's <laughs> in her part. I'm so like, happy to let anyone answer first, and if it's not you, yes, it's in I my know, pocket. I usually has the stuff for you safekeeping. You can also have it if you, you just want have it. to I have want the it. map. Okay. I don't know why I want the map, but I want the map. You don't have to give yeah. it to Pride. It's all good. We for sure had a conversation where I'm like, you can keep whatever you want. <laughs> Great. Okay. It's not. I don't have a lot of pockets. Astrid but. is totally <laughs> mapping it. Um, <laughs> it occurs to you, because uh, you know. have also studied map. that map after receiving it from Cal, to try and get an idea of where these dead drops are. Yeah. Right. That is the main thing that was indicated on it. And mm-hmm. you realize there is actually a collar dead drop marked just south of whatever this town is, which may well be this inn. Mm. On the map itself, there's actually a symbol that Cal wrote um, along the bottom margin uh, with a note next to it that says, to receive messages. And the symbol looks like a triangle on top of a circle with like an X through the circle. So you're given to believe there may be a dead drop somewhere around where you are right now. What do you okay. do? I'm going to relay that information to the group. Just pull what? out the, what? Blip. Oh. They said what? Uh, pull out the map and be like, I think it's here somewhere. Okay. Maybe we should look for that symbol or I, I don't know what dead drops. I was going to say, what's a dead I drop look like? I'm going to look at drive. Do you know? Oh, wait. I'm a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Giant balls are oh, no can. <laughs> I just rolled a natural True. one for criminal. Oh, no. uh, wow. <laughs> nope. You give people You stuff. are, I mean... I think you. I think you became narc. Listen, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm just. A, I happen to be a water criminal and not a water a criminal. A wa- a I only a do water, water crime. I just do water crime. <laughs> uh, Boat crime only. So yeah, you all know there is a dead drop cache somewhere here. Yeah, I do know thieves camp, so I would. I would know symbols that are often indicated. Um, but I imagine it would be that symbol. Yeah, I'm going to write. Uh, pull out uh, just like a ink and pen and write the symbol. Mm-hmm. I'm going to disguise self real quick. I'm going to go talk to the bartender. That sounds good. That's an opportunity. Also, mm-hmm. um, like a, a washroom or something, like a public place. Um, it's another place that you can stash True. things anywhere that wouldn't be suspicious for someone to visit. Under- Are you Darby looking as well? I will look. Okay. Yeah, eventually. Mm-hmm. Roll me a perception. Um, Ash, you're going to the bartender, is that right? Yes, I'm going to go to the bartender. Uh, Great. You see uh, a a halfling, um, halfling man, um, on like what appears to be a a running bench, so he can like be high enough to be over the bar. Um, And he's just like tidying some bottles and mixing some random things behind the bar. What do you say? Uh, Hello. Um, I might have something here for me. Um, I'm not sure if a friend has dropped something off. And I'm going to pull out the piece of paper and just slide it to him. Right. As, um, as soon as I see it's a halfling at the bar, I'm immediately at Astrid's shoulder. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't think we have any packages here. Uh, it might not be a lot of folks drop things off. Um, you're not Martha, are you? I am. Note says the geese are loose. Oh, okay. I'll have to take care of that when the rain stops. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> They're gone now, probably. I mean, with a flash flood to get round here. 
Uh, they'll just they'll they catch the geese up in a torrent and never see them again. I want to try to talk to him so bad. Um, oh, thank you for that. I'm gonna pull the note back and just pocket it and look at Neil and be like, I. I'd, I'll, I'll just like shrug and then I'll greet him in halfling. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, just, uh, oh, good evening. <laughs> I'm just going to stop doing the accent. No, it's too late. <laughs> Here we go. You started. <laughs> also, get us rooms. All right. I was going to whisper in his rooms in the meantime. I think that's the bartender. Yeah. I don't know if oh. the bartender gives rooms. Hello. Uh, oh, I don't find a lot of people uh, who speak. Halfling around here, who are not halflings. No, raised by one. Oh, where are you now? Yeah. Oh, anyone I know? Oh, I don't think not so. Not saying we know Pre- each other. I'm assuming you're from this part of the country. Uh, you know, not necessarily. Uh, oh. But, uh, Whereabouts? Yeah, just, uh, just I'm a traveler. Oh, uh, we right. All, we all were. It's, uh, you know, just a, you know how found, found family can be. Oh, of course. It's quite yeah. charming story, really. I, I'm sure I'll tell you another time. Um, uh, I was hoping to get this filled up, and uh, can you point me in the direction of the person to talk to about um, getting some lodging? Right, now I can get you an AO for that, and I, I actually handle the lodgings, so if you're looking for a room for you and your friends, then... <laughs> the bartender? I... This was out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tavern, you know, so uh, I'm, spo- I'm speaking to There's like six link. people here. The yeah. town has maybe 15, so right. I handle everything. Looking for a room. I I was like the bartender. I would say a couple of rooms. Uh, (laughs) Sure, wants you to. Two two rooms. All right. Uh, Maybe maybe more than they fit two comfortably each, but you can always fit more on the floor. Um, So maybe we take. How much is it per room? Oh, I can get you some decent accommodations for a dar. Uh, That sounds great. There's. I think we could actually, if you've got three rooms available, maybe we could get. Three of them. Right, if you got three silver on you, I'd be happy to set you up. Absolutely. And I will just, I'll, I'll, I'll pay the three dar. I hope Martha's all right. I see she seemed to take the news about her geese awfully hard. <laughs> Astro just walked out. You know, I, th- I think the, the thing with, with the geese is she's, she's worried that um, one of them is just, just a weak swimmer. You know, and so with those flash floods. Oh. I mean, I imagine in flooding conditions, most geese don't fare terribly well. But uh, you know they're. You think good. they could fly, but the rain gets them down. Right, you know, the, the clear, clearly there's. Uh, Cast them right back down to yeah. the earth like they were smote by the gods. <sighs> but hey, dinner for next week. You think they sound bad when they're in a good mood? Nope. When they're drowning, mm mm mm. The noises they make will haunt your dreams. You know, I think I've heard one or two before. It's, it's so so while that, <laughs> while that's going on, uh, <laughs> I walked away. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> that's my favorite BBC show from the nineties. What just happened right now? <laughs> You have to get a special VHS player to play this episode. <laughs> just had a Carol Churchill play. Yeah. What's Jive up to? Uh, well, I'm waiting for you to come back. Oh. How did it go? Not good. What happened? Uh, they obviously it wasn't a spoken one, so it might be like a hidey hole or something of that sort. You I weren't able to get anything? No. No I messages got, left? Apparently geese or got out. And it wasn't for me, but I took the message anyways. And I'll say, actually, the best you determine from that is that it just seems like the bartender's not involved in okay. this. Uh, wherever the dead drop is, he's just not in, like, the communication chain for that. He's not part of it, so it's either probably a place, another person. This town is very small. It Did you small. say geese? Yeah. What was the full message? Uh, the geese got out. The geese, the, the, was it uh, addressed to anybody? Martha? That's Thieves Camp. I'm so sorry. I'm messing Are with you. Are you like? I <laughs> just wanted to see how you would react. I am I so excited. So- <laughs> I thought you were going to teach me something. For I'm a moment, not- I was like, <laughs> what? It is? Oh, oh, God. God. I was waiting for you to <laughs> like. <laughs> I am absolutely joking. Do you want to learn the event? Yeah, that Great. would be fun. Great. I'd love to. I yeah. don't know if I can learn it, but I can definitely try. You will absolutely learn it. You can do, you you, you, you study, a, uh, you take a plant and then you make a thing happen out of it. You can Sometimes, do anything. yeah. And right. other times it burns and it smells really bad. That's still making a change. <laughs> what is, what's Luca getting up to as everyone's like trying to figure this out? I feel like Luca's doing the bird thing. He's just in the air looking to see if he can find any symbolism from atop because everyone else can't get into the Torrential sky. Torrential downpour. Ooh. 
Um, so you are. This is difficult terrain for you. Okay. Um, the, the you were able to. Out. <laughs> you were able to manage it. Geese. I rolled a nineteen. You are hearing the death knell of geese oh my God. Uh, on the wind. <laughs> death Wait, knell. My geese, my it is my sworn duty to protect these geese. geese. Yeah. Yeah. Save them side, all. Side, the swan side, song of geese. If it's the death knell, you might have to save the geese. I mean, you feel like no. Your with your understanding of bird, um, oh no. it sounds like it's a little too late. <laughs> for all of them? For all, all, I mean, there's like three, but yeah, it's... It's still a gaggle, Vince. I will yeah. say, it's called Spare the Dying, Not Spare the Dead. Oh my god. Let's go. Can we get him a shirt? Can I roll for symbolism on the floor somewhere? <laughs> yes, you can roll. <laughs> <laughs> he has given up. Just to keep your mind <laughs> off the gears. <laughs> I like have to change gears Fair because enough. that's just depressing and that's a 17. Nice. Yeah, so look, looking for like hidden symbols, anything that looks a bit like out of place that could be... Yes. Okay, great. Um, that could be cashy. Uh, yes, that's pretty cash money. Let's do this. Um, with sick. Yeah, with you. The S. Uh, hell yeah. Or so I'd say you look down and you're sort of uh, scanning over the whole interior of the um, of the tavern, mm -hmm. and then tiny like epiphany comes to you. You realize something. When you walked in, there was a like there, there, there's a path up the stairs and into the front door where it looks like boots have worn away. At the the wood a little bit because mm -hmm. it's been traveled so much. There's one other spot that seems like it got some unusual amount of foot traffic where people wouldn't have a lot of reason to go, which is just around like the side of the porch. There's no seating. There's nothing like that. It'd be more like you'd just be standing there. But the boots go like almost up and around to the wall, kind of next to where that poster was, and then they stop there, and that's the whole like, that's the wear pattern, the track mark pattern on the patio. Okay. Uh, Luca's gonna fly back down mm -hmm. to there. <sighs> wow, that's good. And, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, um, he's going to walk up to it and just kind of like look around a little bit himself at first and see if he can find anything. Yeah. Inside the wall or anything like that. Well, at about that point, I'd say roll me one more, like, a uh, perception's fine for this. You're not really sure what you're looking for, just kind of taking it in. 14? I thought he was going to keep rolling. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, uh, 14, 20. yeah, that's pretty good. You also know kind of where you're supposed to be peeping here. Um, scanning over the wall, it does lead you to an uh, what looks like an unassuming panel of wood that is just bulging out a little bit from the rest of it. And if you do test it, it looks like there's an ho a hollow space in there. Mm -hmm. Next to that panel... There's a worn down bit of the wood next to it where it looks like multiple things have been carved and then buffed out, carved and then buffed out multiple times. Okay. Is it something that I can like pull out and take? You can pull out like the panel to reveal the the chamber inside, but then that's it. There's nothing inside there. Okay. Forgive me if I'm not thinking of this correctly, but can I take a piece of notebook from my notebook and take my charcoal and kind of just like scribble on top of it and oh. do like a whole like situation like you this. Can, oh, that's interesting. You can certainly do a rubbing. Um, we rub them? <sighs> um, <laughs> interesting. Okay, yeah. You can definitely get a rubbing on it. Um, it would take a little bit... <laughs> relax. It would take a lot to sort of uh, separate the symbols out. Sure. And your minds are like overlapping, but you can certainly start to uh, parse those through. Um, after you've taken that, what do you then do? I'm gonna go walk over to Pry. You are soaking wet. <laughs> do you want me to oh, fix that? you have no clue of what you just did. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> God! <laughs> vigorously, just all over the place. Do you like symbols? You are a full adult. <laughs> oh, I'm a big adult. And for a bird who's supposed to be hydrophobic, you were holding a lot of it's water. It's your big age. <laughs> <laughs> cool. What's up? I found this. Does that mean anything to you? It was Is that also now very you know what's wet? super important? <laughs> Fucking context. <laughs> so why am I wet holding a weird smudgy paper? <laughs> well, you doesn't some... have to explain <laughs> anything <laughs> to me. Well, first off, there's this thing called rain. And it got all over me. Do you want her to kill you? I think she might kill you. She might kill you. You are right, But man. that's besides the point. I know you already know that. I found that when I was looking around, I've, I've thought about this thing. There was like some weird footsteps inside of here that didn't look like everything else that was inside of the place. I don't know. Sometimes I just notice things that are way different from everything else. I know I'm talking a lot right now because I'm really scared of you. But... Luca, did you find the dead drop? I think so. 
Also, pro tip, if you're scared of somebody, apologize. Yay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine. See, it's fine. At his big age? <laughs> so, <laughs> if we're all together, so I'm gonna presidigitation us. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what's in, what is it, what does it mean? Uh, okay, so looking at this, what do I see? And you are holding the rubbing. I'm holding the rubbing. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like a lot of different <laughs> symbols overlapped over one another. Um, Can I like me, spec Okay, cool. Yeah, roll me. <laughs> uh, give me like an investigation. I would not take a history for this. Give me an investigation to try and like suss them out from each other. Jiminy Christmas. Also, real quick, just to add, I got a 23 on my investigation a little while ago. Ooh. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna myself Hell I yeah. In case I can add to what? anything. I mean, Luke already found it. <laughs> I'd say the thieves can't will assist. So this will actually symbols, help. Yeah. Uh, nice. Jibe can actually help you out with this. What was your roll? 13. Jibe's got this. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'd say your by your powers combined, as you both look it over, you're able to suss out what looked like four symbols. There are probably more here, but there's just so many layers of buffing and re-carving and buffing and carving, you can't pick them all out. I don't care what they mean. Can I get like an order based on like how dark, the, like how deep the charcoal yes. was? You can indicate, you've, you're able to separate out four different symbols. In terms of order, yeah, I'd say, okay, just to be clear, the four symbols are uh, what looks like almost like a scroll rolled up with like two little knobs in the end, um, a sword with a circle at the end of it, at the tip, what look almost like dunes or mountains, um, two of them, and a circle with a triangle on top and an X to the circle. Oh, okay. So, uh, does this mean anything to you? Yeah, these uh, are interesting, and I'll like, kind of like walk Astrid through it a little bit. <gasps> uh, the different symbols um, indicate different things, for example, uh, this one here, the triangle and the with the X and everything, that's the exact same symbol on your map. Okay. And that said to what? <laughs> that's about a messages? great assessment there. <laughs> <laughs> something about messages, right? That's yeah, that's how we, we get messages. It says these particular dead drops. So that means they're for is it, wait, no, no, no. Yeah. Is it for we to get messages from every dead drop, or does that symbol mean to receive messages? I'm going to look at the map. What does it mean? It just mean? says for receiving messages. For receiving messages. Yeah. So underneath that specific symbol or mm -hmm. for yeah. the for the dead drops in general. Just that is that symbol like an equal sign for receiving messages. Maybe um, different people that come to the dead drop spots have different symbols that they use like that's their own. Yeah. So maybe we were given gals and these other people are the other people who have stopped by and those are their symbols and this one is the one we're supposed to use to say that like we're cow. That makes sense. That makes sense. Or to communicate with Cal. There's one person in the tavern right now. Luca, would you mind distracting this person while we activate this dead drop? Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Perfect. Don't we go by the way? Oh, the the writing thing. I, I thought you meant the feather. Yeah, of course. Cool, cool. I would never mean the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you go in to distract the one I'm patron? To spend money for the first time in my entire life. <gasps> wow! Oh, oh, on a oh, finale. Ale. <laughs> I'm going to buy an ale. Okay. I would like to, yeah, walk, walk up to the bartender. Can I, can I have one drink, please? Sure, yeah. That'll be three pips. Here you go. Ooh, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, and I'm going to. It's just one person. It's one guy at the bar. Okay, cool. I'm gonna like walk by, and I'm gonna look over to the rest of the cr to crew before I do it, and just like smile and do this. And I'm gonna pretend to be drunk. Okay. And he's kind of just gonna. Whoa! Spill all of the ale on top of him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Nila's gonna have a field day. If we have a bar fight with one person, it's gonna be really, really boring. <laughs> um, and the guy. <laughs> I've never been so proud of my. How much taller am I than I this love person? A bar fight. Oh, you're There's you've a got at least a head on him. Because we fight each other. He's a real. He's a portly fellow, hunched over the bar, and you pour the <laughs> ale on him, and he leans his head back, and puts his arms out. And opens his mouth. Yeah. And it's like a shot from the Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> as, you're, as you're pouring ale onto him. And he just takes it all and you see he's like drinking it in and then turns to you 
and you're pretty sure he's looking at you, but his eyes are like not open. Okay. They're just like crusted shut. And he turns to you. Hey, I mean, hold on, man, I'm dirty, man. Hey, sorry, but drink a lot of beer. <laughs> ah, ah, and smacks you on the shoulder. His natural response would be to punch in that moment, and you kind of see his fist come up a little bit. He's like, ah, and then fist bumps you. <laughs> hey, you heard I'm around here? His voice is outside. What? <laughs> Great. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, this is very distracting. Do you want to go outside? I'm so distracted. Do you want to go outside? You want to go outside? Oh, you're outside. Yeah. Do you want to stay inside? I'm so sorry. I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought I was distracting you guys from something inside of here. You offer to, 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 to take it outside, look, and they're in the window like, <laughs> oh, and you're going inside. Oh no! <laughs> and goes down to do the uh, arm house. wrestle. Yep. Roll a strength <laughs> check for oh me. Oh my god! <laughs> this is the boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a nine. Hollow bones. Okay. <laughs> um, I gotta be real. This guy's way stronger than you were expecting. Okay. And I'm not gonna say that like the dramat breaks, but it's oh it's a God. little it's a little bit like there's a pop, and it it doesn't feel good as he definitely wins that arm wrestle. Ow. Oh, sorry, no, 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 I think I had this down. And the house was buy me beer. Can you buy me another drink? Oh. Uh, 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 drunk? It's three pips. Oh, there's a pip on the floor. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, outside. Distracted. Oh. Dis distracted? <laughs> Distract, <Yes>. I say. <laughs> Honestly? I think he already was. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was I don't have any idea what was happening. His eyes are crusted closed. <laughs> but um, hey, just in case. Now, thank you. Extra distracted, and also so am I a little bit. <laughs> I'm pitching you all the window, like. Uh, it was incredible. What is up with that drop? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and push the thing that's uh, jetting out a little bit. Yeah, so basically it's just like, it's a loose panel of wood, and removing it just shows like an empty cache, essentially. Yeah. With nothing in it. Mm. So you say we should, should we call the symbol on the? Isn't it already in there? It's it, but it's, it's like traces, right? Out, like right? Like it's kind yeah. of like shrubbed out and then recarved over. Yeah, the, the wood is bare, over, right? but it looks like many carvings have been carved Carved-y. and then buffed back out. Yeah. So yeah, we Who just has leave the, the better part? hand. I have, and I'm gonna pull out my dagger. This was oh wait, you got your tensile porcelain one too. Yeah, I think I might go through that. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just a normal I, I saw what it did to um, a guy, I so I'm I pull out my dagger and I hand it to you. Okay, you want to do it? it? Sure. Yeah. Got a symbol. She's I mean, it's not really hard to person. carve. Like, it's, it's a circle, a triangle, and an X. And you just pop that in there, yep. the one on the map. Um, yeah, great. That was um, a good pun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You carve it in there, and who, I, I, don't, I think you're holding the panel, like yeah. you're looking inside. You carve it in there, and... At first, nothing happens as you're staring inside. Oh my god, if this turns out to be magic, that would be incredible. I put the panel back. And, uh, yeah, as you do, there's a subtle noise, like a little bit of a rumbling, and the wooden panel bulges, like clicks and bulges just slightly more outward. Oh my god, Curse, look what you did. That's incredible. <laughs> it's not. Just open. What? It's not anything. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I open it. <laughs> Moving it aside, you realize there's now a note in there. Um, it is also inscribed with the in symbol that you used on its exterior, and it's trifolded. That's for us, I think. I'll, Let's take a look. Yeah, hand, I'll hand it to Astrid. Okay. I'll um. Is it's raining. Like, yeah, I'm gonna like put it more in my shirt, uh, so it's not like I don't want to get the rain. Should we do this inside outside? Outside? Oh, hold on. In a room. <laughs> we have I rooms. open my book to a picture of an umbrella. <laughs> 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 Oh, okay. I'm gonna open it. It's really dark outside, yeah. I forgot. There's a, there's like torches out here. There's sconces. 
Chris, can you, can you make a little bit of flame? <laughs> sure can. Thank you. And I, not too close, but, um, and then I open it. It's nice to be able to read. And it reads, followed up on your tip and found your friend's prison records. She staged a riot and broke out last month. Still not convinced you're telling the truth. We'll keep an ear to the ground and update if anything stands out, but it has to be by the book. Signed, Cow. Oh, he got Ren's out. Or she got herself out. Um, uh, back when we were talking with him, we mentioned uh, the woman from the book that uh, the first timeline was in prison. And oh, she staged a riot and got herself out. Right? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. All right. Wait, who in prison? Red's, um, the big tiefling woman in South March, in the, in the other timeline that we were imprisoned with. That oh, my brain's not working with the timing stuff right now. No, that that all made sense. Okay. All yeah. right. Back and forth. When we, if we would have gone to prison, we would have met. met her, and mm-hmm. and we did. She just got us out herself, so maybe she got us out last time. Or maybe we stopped her from getting out last I'm time. Maybe she stuck around to help protect us and then so didn't have the chance to. So things are going better. Yeah. Something's happening, at least something different. Great. I'm gonna. Should we burn the note? Oh, no, we put it back in and well, then I mean, we'll scrub it out. <clears throat> or we give the note to the person who can't be stolen from or caught. Yeah, I don't know if we should put it back. You don't think so? What if, I mean, I don't think it was for anyone else. It was for us. It was from Cal. Yeah. Pry, do you mind ho- either hanging right. on to it or if, or we just, <laughs> or we burn it, I would thought. say. Those are the two options we I have. I just put it over Chris's hand. <laughs> All right. Why don't we like keeping information? Do you want to copy it in your book? You can have it. That's okay. Have it. It's already in my book. All right, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> and, and, then, yeah, and then, yeah, we should, uh, we should, uh, yeah, scrub out. The... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we scrub it out. And let's Great. go rescue Luca, because yeah. I think he's about to have another drink, and that's probably not a good thing. Um, I'd say, Luca, you <laughs> the patron you've been attending to has, kind of mid-sentence, like, fallen asleep on the bar. And is just, like, laying there, like, arms dangling, just snoring on the actual uh, bar stand. Luca's just, like, singing him, like... Go to sleep music. That's so cute. And Eric Cochran <laughs> the whole time, just kind of like gently, like taking care of his back and making sure he's all comfortable. Oh. <laughs> and you all enter the tavern as well. Yeah. 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 As you enter back in, you oh hear. Gosh, you're knocking out. <clears throat> Who? Steven? Never. Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What do we hear? <laughs> he introduced himself as. Yeah. <laughs> That's close. Yeah. yeah. His name is yeah. Stephen. He has three kids and a cat. He's a very nice guy, but he has a really hard time at work, so he drinks a lot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's in the notes. Uh, as you enter, you hear a plotting sound um, in the mud plot in the mud behind you. And <laughs> no. you looked right at me. Yeah. <laughs> I knew. I knew. You know, it was actually more for Kaylee. Because um, I keep making faces at him when he says words. Yeah. Um, and a figure is coming down the road on foot. They're waving a hand as you're entering the tavern and sort of trots up to, to catch up to you. And you realize as they enter the lit area around the inn that it's Kelsis. Bloody hell. You'd know old blue eyes anywhere. He steps under the covered porch of the tavern and drops his hood, shaking out his blonde hair. I'm so sorry, there's not a lot of time to explain, and it took a lot of trouble for me to get down here this quickly. Just come inside for a moment, out of the rain. We uh, were going inside. in. Yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 You come to us. You're in the doorway, what so the here we go. Thank you. Have you met Steven? <laughs> <laughs> this is Steven. <laughs> He darts into the tavern, um, following all of you inside as well. Is everything okay? Is everything uh, going on? Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll explain as best I can. One moment. Um, and inside, he glides to the back of the building, kind of like indicating you to like, low-key follow him, although the only patron in the tavern is now also, we have room. passed out. Do you want to go up to me? You can also introduce him to Dan and be like, this guy is the one who told us about Did you already book rooms? Yes. yes. Oh. Are we not staying? Which rooms? Do you know yet? No. Mm-hmm. Not no. Yet, no. Unless I was told. We have three of them. 
Okay, one was already booked, so I don't imagine they give that to you. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm going the, the wrong way around. Yeah, I'll explain. Yeah. Wait um, a minute, did you tell? He glides. He's the same friend. Uh, he glides he to the back of the building, uh, where there Cunning, all the rooms know. are kind of lined up. <laughs> he indicates to one of them specifically. Okay. <clears throat> um. Right. Do you remember the words I used to unlock my safe house in Polyria? Uh, Kinos. Yeah. yeah, yeah writes uh, everything down. For sure do. I love these dots, by the way. Just, oh my god, the infinite. <laughs> just wait, wait. Going. An infinity but scroll. Why? Yes, I do. But I don't. <laughs> I think I took the note. I don't have, I didn't have this that day. Yeah, I've also, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, mm, I've enchanted one of the runes to protect us in a similar way. Um, use this. Is this and, all the P words? Yes. Oh, okay, but I do have it. Pios, Parava, Pizzatai, uh, and Pizzini. There you go. Um, and he pulls out what looks like a long, thin piece of metal with a pointed tip. And it hums a little bit of magic. You've got a magic one. If you... <laughs> oh. Um, I suppose so. Bit short. Um, in, if you inscribe the words on the door frame of the fifth room down, it'll prepare the room for us. I just need to deal with my pursuer real quick. Your pers- uh, no, 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 no. Sure. That's fun. I'm sorry? Do you want to take care of your... Yeah, you want problem? some help? Oh, no, that's quite all right. I don't, wouldn't, wouldn't want to trouble you all. It's been like 12 hours since I was covered in blood. It's time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Neil loves it. Yeah, you'll join me. Yeah. It, it's nice to get a, let a stretch of sea legs. <laughs> Thanks. The sea is for courage. I, I, it would be safe for us to be able to... You know what? That's fine. Let's deal with that, and then we can resolve this in a moment. Okay. Is okay. that fine? Yes. Great. Right. Why are you here? Yeah, we can go. Oh, we'll do the room. Okay. Yeah, we'll access the room. Yeah, I'll do the murder. Go you guys, the you guys do the. Yeah, this. Okay. Okay. Right. I, please. Do you? Oh, you have it. Uh, no, Brian, you lo- you love okay. it so much. That's here. You carve it. I'll tell you what's right. Teamwork. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'll meet you just out front. I'll be ready for you. Have a you. good time. Oh, okay. Great. Thank you. Yeah, just in case I die or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have potions, yeah. but yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go. Stretch my wings. Sounds like fun. I don't feel like we should. Do you want to go be a murder friend? How about I'm all of you go do the murder, and I'm going to write on the door. I'll just be there because someone should be able to heal Neela if she gets hurt. Kalsus has already dipped out back toward the front. Yeah, I just the go. Because if she goes, you get. I get it. Give it. Give what? it. No, give I'll me, hang out with you. Thing. I don't. Want I'll gone. give it to you, but I'm sticking Thank with you. you. You don't have to go. No, help, I want to hang out help, with you. Please, I will feel <laughs> just better. Just go. I, <laughs> fine. I'm gone. I am already gone. So after you and Neela join Kalsus out front. Chris was going to come as well. I'm coming so that we're all going. Perfect. Yeah, so well, Luke, okay, so wait, so prize the one standing yeah, behind talking yeah. the word. Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. I don't want to be wet again. Hold on. Astrid, Did I just see you like, like very I don't have carefully, any like yeah. artistically? Yeah. Okay, great. I am having such a good time. Channel Divinity, uh, I'm going to give myself uh, proficiency in calligrapher's tools. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be beautiful. I can't wait. Gorgeous. I can't wait. Uh, Kalsis leads the rest of all of you um, out front. <clears throat> I just wanted to do a murder. I didn't realize I had a retinue. Let's go. And back <laughs> onto the porch and lifts his hood. <clears throat> right. Okay. Um, I got a good distance on them on my way over from Kalasari. I mm-hmm. also passed through town. Mm-hmm. Um, I, Oren says hi, by the way. I mentioned I was friends of yours. I, just, I didn't describe you in too much detail, but he knew who I was talking about very quickly. Um, yeah. But uh, I tried to lead them off the tracks. They wouldn't stop in town. They probably are closing in now just a quarter of a mile away. We can head them off if you don't mind getting a bit wet. Uh, point me in a direction and give me a description. Ooh. Right, far. Then follow Kelsey's, me. How's your son? So My son? Yeah. He's a daughter. <laughs> He also has a son, doesn't he? Do I have a boy? I don't recall having a son. I'm sorry. Okay. Are you alright, Astrid? I'm having a moment. I'm not feeling too hot. And Astrid's thinking on something, because that didn't make any sense to her, since Kelsis didn't know that they went to Kalasari. So Astrid's hanging back a little bit more. Wait, what? what? Oh. Astrid's sorry? also, yeah, I mean... She, and she's like shaking her uh-huh. hand next to her, her mm-hmm. side real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just, I mean, how fast did you come? You know, I'm a wizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, can, I can do that sort of thing. Yeah. I also know where you are. Yeah, that's a good point. How? You have my mirror. Okay. Oh, Is it the only evidence. thing that we have of yours? No. I'm sorry, I'm a bit... Are we all right right now? We're just, uh... Yeah, we're okay. 
Let's go fight. <laughs> I rolled a 15 insight because she's being weird. Yeah. Oh, wait, on Asher or on, on Kelsis? No, because okay. I, I want to know what's happening, what's making this reaction. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'd say, I mean, Asher, what would a 15 insight detect about what you're giving off right now? And then I'll tell you about Kelsis. Um, she's super uncomfortable. Like, she's usually really warm to Kelsis. And right. she's kind of really standoffish and stepping back. Um, and she's trying to, like, think of things. Like, you can see her mind working a little bit. Because I've I've cottoned on now to the fact that you're testing him, right? And thinking back to the to, to the the guy being a different guy and also made of paper, did very yeah. confusing for me. But am I getting the same vibes, similar vibes, any vibes? All you're picking up from Kels is, is he seems hurried and in a bit of a rush. Nothing else seems untoward to you. All right, point me in a direction and give me a description. And I I right, would yes, like to kill something into the wet. Great. And um, you have not pointed I'm, me in a direction or told me what I'm trying to kill. Yes, I'm. I'm walking. Can you? You can follow me. I'm sending Kira back into the inn. I'm staying towards the back in case I need to get to pry. What was the, the words to get in the room? I imagined you knew. I don't. I don't know them. I, I don't write any. I. I, I trust Pop Pry's ability to get in there just fine. What are the, what are the words? We're in a bit of a rush right now. I'd rather just deal with the pursuer, and then we can discuss all of this once we're safely That's inside. Just here, but... And he's walking, 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 hurrying into the. That's into okay. The rain. I think that uh, 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 Bri remembered them because they have sort of a ring to them. Do you know what I mean, Curse? Yeah. They have sort of a ring to them. Mm-hmm. So. What? Yeah. And then further ahead, <laughs> just <laughs> as you walk out into the into the muck, like the ring we stole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 I love it. Yeah. Wait, one more time. Just one more time. It's gonna r- a ring. A curse. A ring. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't. Sorry. Okay. Chris wears it. So, um, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> you've walked about 10 yards, and Kelsis points ahead um, at a point where the road bends not far from where you are now. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> they should be coming around just now any moment. We can set up like an, an ambush, if you'd like. I'm not sure what your approach is for this sort of thing. Describe your assailant. It was two callers. Okay. Both of... I don't know if you need the height as well, right, roughly six foot. Um, They were astride a single horse sharing it and thus were kind of slowed down. Um, I don't know why, if it's maybe a budgetary thing. Um, (laughs) (laughs) They're always complaining. That reminds me that we did leave, like, we noticed that there was a horse missing back where we were before, (laughs) and then there were just two people walking around. We never found the horse. I tried to ask that. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm going to see if I can get a, do people flank? Is flanking a thing that we should do? Yes, we'll flank. Okay, I will flank. No, you say, you shouldn't be in front if you're a wizard. (laughs) Right, I'm flanking. No, you stay here. You guys stay here. I'll be right back. It's <laughs> and I just to me, I just start <laughs> like running into the rain. Uh, yeah, Luke, plot do you, away. Do you want to go as well? I'm since not you're plotting, just a right out buddy. fighter. I'm, I'm a pirate. Run. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Luca, do you? Okay. Luca's been enjoying flying lately. He just <laughs> gone. Oh boy. Okay. Kira's also uh, now with you. All right. You have a giant raven that's staring at you for snacks. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> she has and you do. <laughs> You guys all do indeed, as you begin to move forward and kind of get your positions, you do see a horse that seems to take off through the bend, but doesn't gallop toward you. It sort of is coming around the bend and then takes off, off the road entirely, into the wood to the south. I'd like to very much uh, see if I can see any kind of collar gear. On the riders? Yeah. Yeah, roll uh, roll perception. It's tough to see out here, but yeah, let's I just see. I got dark vision. Well, I'm a little devil. You can see. <laughs> devil. It's dim to you, which should be a disadvantage. Mm. But I'll see what I can. I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, you said it's perception. Mm-hmm. What was it? Uh, it's a seventeen. Okay. DC's pretty chunky. Um, I'd say you are able to make out overcoats. That's about it. Colors, accessories. You're not going to get it from here. Not you can't like see like the shape of goggles. goggles. It's like hooded coats, but there are also a lot of hooded coats out there. In the rain, you're not when get, it's raining, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to make out much more detail than that at this distance and when it's raining in the middle of the night with no light. Hmm. Um, yeah, so they, they gallop uh, heading south. 
And then um, Astrid, uh, Jibe, what are you doing? Because we have flying, we have charging ahead, we have scoping out the riders. What's happening over here? I'm staying a little bit behind Kelsis. Okay. Uh, I'll protect you, Kelsis. I don't think I need that. It, I suppose you have not seen me at my prime, um, but really I haven't. don't really require a lot of babysitting, I assure you. Uh, okay, then I'll stand here and do nothing. Also, why are okay. we chasing them if they're not coming this way? No, that was kind of a surprise for me as well. Whee! <laughs> I mean, it's possible they don't want to fight five people. Then let's go back to the Six? inn. Yeah, is it... Uh, are the horses uh, now... Is the, is the horse going to the inn? In the it just galloped into like into the wilderness. Into the woods, right? Yeah. Like, in the direction that we were planning to go? It's it's really just like off the road. Off like okay. they, they look like they're just fucking off somewhere. Okay, well, uh, looks like the problem just got solved. Okay, yeah, no, I mean, that's kind of weird, but great. Okay, well, let's go back to the inn. Okay, yeah, no, I'm all for that. Uh, Great, and then as you... I guess I'm going back. I don't know what I would have done. So sorry. Because I also was running so far ahead. (laughs) I don't know if I was... I wouldn't, alone. Leave, I wouldn't leave Neela. Yeah, you yeah. would have called me back, right? Absolutely. Okay, good. I would absolutely not leave with Neela still pursuing them. Um, as you walk back to the inn, um, at a certain point, and I, I, I gotta stress this, the mud is thick. Uh, it is it is heavy, uh, the rain has really softened up the roads. And Kelsis, as he's walking... Is at my like, foot as I lift it. Boots. Yeah, Kelsis is trying to like... <laughs> Like unstick boots. You don't have to make the noises. Um, I really do, though. It's gonna happen more. Uh, <laughs> uh, at a certain point, as you're approaching the inn, he trips on just like getting his foot caught in the muck mm. and and collapses forward like onto his face um, in the mud oh. and just like I'll still. Go to help him up. Still. Uh, well, I, I, I pull yeah, him I'm up. gonna pull. I'm not very strong, but I'm gonna yeah. try and help. Hang him on, up. I. I... <laughs> you lift up an empty cloak. Yep. <laughs> well, that was really easy. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. I'm running to pry. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm actually going to. I'm screaming. <laughs> I'm gonna warg into Kira. It's been long enough now. You've absolutely had time to Hold write it all Hold on. Let's talk about what actually happened. <laughs> the moment they turn down the uh, or turn down the hallway and leave my sight. One, identify on the wand. Two, <laughs> detect magic as I begin to write this out. Okay, yeah. Uh, Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, just blindly. I've never listened to anyone in my life ever. You think I'm going to start now? Today? No. Let's get that. Okay. (laughs) Detect magic on the Like the everything. Just around you. Yeah. Um, I'm just pushing it up as I begin to, like, start carving Let's resolve the identify (laughs) first. Um, You identify this as... I'm not going to give you, like, a name of an item, but I'll tell you what it does. Unfortunately... Identify gives me the name of the item. <laughs> you know what? You get to invent it because I don't feel like coming up cool! with something. <laughs> That's dope. Thank you for um, the gift. <laughs> however, I will tell you what this thing does. Yes. Um, from what you can tell, it is used to uh, encode uh, magical words uh, in a way that look, the word itself doesn't contain power necessarily. Um, but this is a device used to convey power to a word that can be used in combination with others to end up creating a spell. If you write this with an ordinary pen, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, it's s- similar to how you would write like an encoded uh, bit of text with like font or something like that. Okay. But this does kind of the same effect without needing the additional component. Oh, okay. Now in the Please general space... <laughs> Um, The general space around you uh, with Detect Magic, on the door itself, uh, you detect... I'm gonna call that... I'm gonna say that is a a little bit of conjuration, a little bit of transfiguration. With just like a pinch of enchantment. (laughs) A sweet song. Of those things that it's already on the door before I start trying to use this? The door is already, it already has a magical effect put on it. Incredible. I love that. Love to see it. Um, then, yeah, I'm going to pocket the wand. That's such a lovely thing to have, and I own it now. Um, yeah, what's this door? I'm going to cast Identify on the door. Is this a magical item or just a, like, 
mundane item under magical effects. You detect door. Uh, it's a door. <laughs> door what under kind of door? Mahogany. Oh. Oh, okay. um, in fact, the oh, door is not magical. It is the frame you're writing on that appears to be magical. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, that's cool. Uh, so when Kira, when you warg into Kira, you see me uh, with the edge of my glaive out, prying the frame of the door away. <laughs> oh, I, would like, incredible. I would like to remind Abria Iyengar that when this scene started, she mimed writing the first word of those five. <sighs> yeah, because I would have started to write yeah, it and waited for her to walk it. away. And then I'm like, okay, anyway, so what's this? <laughs> you are collecting the door frame. What? Is that what's happening right now? That's in the transformation of time uh, and the things I've learned. By the time she, like, by the time she's looking at me, Pry's like, I'm gonna pry this frame off the wall. If you want to say I haven't had time to start doing it yet, that's fine. But no, I, I say you can write. certainly have begun. They've been outside now for what is probably a good three or four minutes. So it's definitely enough time to have gotten through this entire process long before you hear curse or uh, acid or anything else. Okay. Kira's just like flapping her wings, upset. Oh, what? It just it's ah. What's wrong? Ah. Use your words. Ah. Are they in danger? Did they fall down a well? <laughs> I was really hoping they're they actually make that joke. <laughs> Kira's eyes are now. Uh, lavender, like a like a lilac blue, oh, instead oh. of like the normal red. They look like all right. Eyes? That's different. Yeah, they look like Astrid's color. Astrid, that you? Hop twice. She, Kira hops twice. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, so either everyone's dead and they need to come help, or I'm in danger, and you're here to help me. <laughs> so good. All, all right. I needed. Was so, it the Astrid. first one or the second one? Because <laughs> she can't speak. <laughs> All right. She blinks. It's like charades. Ah, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dots and dashes. Okay. Uh, please honk if everyone's <laughs> yeah. dying. Kira doesn't do anything. Okay. Honk if I'm about to die. Okay, noted. Uh, and I flip the glaive and just stand in the hallway, ready for whatever's coming. When I see that, right. I'd be behind me, I guess. Go back to back into myself. Is anybody caught, Astrid? Because she just stopped. Yeah, I got her. I, I feel like I've just, got like I've oh. got like uh, <laughs> fireman carry <laughs> the warlock on one end, and then like also just like the empty clo- the empty muddy cloak, like flap over my shoulder in the other, just in case it's important. I never know what's important. Oh, <laughs> this is this is okay. I'm, Who I has Calcis's mirror on? There. I was gonna say. So you gotta make a call, gotta make a call, oh, baby. Nice. Yeah, because we just gave that, whatever who that was, uh, the words to get into Kelsis' safe house. Did we actually do that? Uh, sorry, that was me asking above game. Yeah, yeah. Was, we didn't say that I to him. I wouldn't have said the words out loud. Okay. Cool. I know the words, I didn't write them all yet. Great. And I don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because none of us know them, and yeah. you know them, but you didn't say them out loud. Why would you have? You feel the mirror gently burning, drawing your attention towards it, almost like a magnetism. Oh, please. I'm trying to tuck it under my arm and answer my phone. (laughs) You actually don't see... I'd say you can have caught up about now. I was running in in screaming. You don't (laughs) see... (laughs) You don't see Kelsis in the mirror. um, But there is a message written on it in in, in his hand. And it reads, Some unsavory sorts are casing the safe house. They shouldn't be able to get in, but thought I'd warn you. Be safe out there. (gasps) Copy that. And I just like take the empty cloak and fly. <laughs> we killed Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> she was about, about to do the like, like, oh, you really? Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? He disappeared. No, okay. it wasn't Kelsey. Uh, yes, I also just got a little message from Kelsey that says uh, there's people casing uh, his safe house and we're looking for the means to you know, get in. Oh, that's terrifying. They definitely knew him well. Like, he couldn't be fooled. Like, we, I tried to... But Sorry, I didn't help. I didn't failed. catch on until right after. My he bad. failed both of our tests. Yeah, yeah. Our, yeah. What, uh, the combined ring test? Or what was the test that you did? I asked him about the words to get into the safe house. That's right. I asked what the words were and supposed he didn't to know. be. If she was supposed to be using them to get into this room. He didn't know them. He yeah. didn't say them, at least. Okay, now that you're here, hold on. And I go back to prying the door frame. <laughs> Roy, what's that racket down there? Uh, I just call back down in Halfling. Uh, sorry, uh, that bird friend of ours got a bit, um, 
uh, toasted. Uh, we're just a uh, big, big bird, yes, you know. We're sounds just like nails around. being ripped out of boards. I'm, I'm trying a new song. Bird flute horribly played. <sighs> right, that's no good. Don't <laughs> worry, we're fine. Uh, we weren't asking for notes. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Right, you need them though. <laughs> I'm gonna knock very quietly on the door while you're <sighs> fucking with it to see if anyone's in there. No response. Oh, uh, sorry. My understanding is that uh, this railing is enchanted to pick up whatever I write down. So the moment you turned around the corner, I didn't. Oh, I didn't write anything. Oh, good. Sorry, sorry. Let me lead with that. Uh, I was investigating uh, the new magic item we now all own. Ooh, what is it? It's a, it, it, it's kind of, it gives, it's like a pen that imbues magical uh, intention into writing. Wow. So I wonder if you had written the words into that, if they would have received it somehow and then had the entrance. Yes, 100%. They okay. would have been able to get right in. Wait. And... Can you draw it? Can you write something to them? And they'll <gasps> receive it? Like fake Go words? Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Yes, I can. <laughs> Let's do it. What do you need? Uh, I got like one more minute of calligraphy. Uh. Great. Uh, the most crass thing you can think of, Pry. I leave it to you, dealer's choice. Oris sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, um, I know that the only other rooms that would be booked in this place right now would be Dia and the drunk man asleep on the bar downstairs. Steven. 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 <laughs> yeah. In theory. Uh, so I'm going and knocking on doors trying to find Dia. Oh. Um. Okay. I was, yeah. I was worried that Dia was in that room. I'm just going to let Dia know in case this room mm-hmm. explodes. Um, yeah, you get down a few doors. There's like five rooms in the whole place. Um, and eventually a groggy looking, like mostly dressed, but like just slept on Dia with like her hair just like, uh, answers the door. What? Hey, um, somebody bad, uh, put bad magic on one of these rooms and I wanted to let you know in case it exploded. Okay. We're working on making it not explode, but somebody was here pretending to be a friend of ours. Hey, was the person who, what was the part, name of the person who sent you here? Just between us. The person who, what, what? The who person who sent you, was sending you to the place that we're both going? I'm still not going to fall for that. So. No, I, I'm genuinely asking. There's no trick. <laughs> I'm just very polite. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> Don't blow my room up, please. I'm trying. No promises. <laughs> well. Wow. Wow. She seems nice. Um, Sketchy and hot. Never said <laughs> nice. Uh, I hold up the coat. Is this a coat that we know Kelsis has worn before, or is this just a general raincoat? I think it's just a hooded cloak. And uh, we saw there was a horse that was galloping. There was a figure. Was it two figures? It's two. Cool. It's two it's figures two on horseback. Uh, and we don't know if they're real or not, but we distinctly saw that. Yeah. They probably weren't collars if they were. It also like it didn't like it wasn't like they just like rode off along the road. They just went. Meow. You get another message on the mirror. And it just reads, I don't pick it up yet because I'm still writing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they seem, it just reads, they seem to be attempting combinations. They seem to know the process, but not the precise means of access yet. Mm. Are you all still all right? Not. Uh, I toss the mirror to Jed. Hey. Can you deal with this. Okay. Uh, and I'm finishing up my palindrome okay, in great. Celestial. That's you... incredibly crude. <laughs> You chucked uh, the mirror to someone who does not use magic. So I'm, I'm just tapping it. Hello? I just was ready. I yeah. assumed you could catch you it. Just, <laughs> I did, I did catch you it. You see the text on it, and Hello. you tap, and little dots appear your fingers touch. Kelsis. <laughs> Kelsis is Jibe. Jibe Daffril. Hello. This thing doesn't work anymore. Oh. I'm just going to slowly. <laughs> and I'm going to write back, uh, you may want to find an emergency exit. And then there's a there's a few beats. And I show time. I'm like, t- t- it's like you write messages back and forth. Oh, Unless but, sometimes they call. Yeah. Okay. That's what I just I assumed it was the same thing that we always do. There's a few beats <laughs> followed by a, did you do something? I'm not answering. I had it to Neela. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not answering. I have it. no idea what's happening here. <laughs> I get back to the curse. Okay. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Curse. Uh, <laughs> 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 I just back. Hi, Kelsis. Um, and then it, it reads, 
will extricate myself as soon as possible, uh, may have to flee town if they have this much information already, will meet you in Traver's Peak if you find your way down south. I have another place to stay down there. Should I ask him something? Only he would know what if they're already inside. This is just text. Oh. Yeah, I can't see him. Ring thing if you want. Uh, or the child yeah. thing. Do the ring, the ring thing, I guess. I guess we should. Yeah, okay. Um, how, how's, how's that ring of yours? Maybe you should ask Jibe. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and no other answer to follow. <laughs> uh, and to try to throw them off if they're getting all of this information. Uh, at, at, by this point, uh, Pry is sitting crisscross applesauce at the bottom of the frame, and she keeps drawing like really intricate sigils, mm-hmm. and then scrubbing them out like she got it wrong. <laughs> And retrying it over and over, just to add an extra layer of like, oh, there must be a symbol that you have to get right, and I just can't remember. <laughs> Eventually, you get one more message from Calisus on the mirror that just reads, "I think they are idiots." <laughs> <laughs> you tell them I said you're welcome. <laughs> um, that said, I mean, you've ch- actually checked around the tavern now. There appear to be no other people here aside from Dia, mm-hmm. the fellow at the bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, Steven. And Steven. <laughs> Let's defend. Um, and uh, the bartender and you lot, who do also have rooms for the night, you were, uh, a ruse was attempted and foiled, and Kelsus now appears to be leaving Polyria for his own safety. Uh, but, yeah, that seems like it's about it for right now. If they know that we're here, maybe we shouldn't sleep here? Uh, big storm, there's really, though. there's really nowhere else to go. I guess we just keep watches up and should we yeah. have one room then. <laughs> what do you think? Curse ah. also size this time. <laughs> <laughs> I think if there's someone in the hallway, it's okay. There's not many people entering from. Yeah, well, if if you know you don't want privacy, we can figure something out. Can she have privacy? It's only for the idea. one night. Yeah, of course I do. I love my privacy. <laughs> Privacy. Yeah. Pri- <laughs> Privacy. I mean, like, okay, the thing is we have to blockade the windows, but other than that, the only entrance would be through the hallway. So as long as someone keeps watching the hall, it's okay. Yeah, seems fair. Yeah. Okay. And if anyone feels someone watching you, just alert everybody else. Yeah, fair play that. Um, I'll, I'll take first watch just because um, I'm still a little hyped from not getting to kill something earlier. I'm sorry. Oh, you didn't get to kill anything. I didn't. I'm sorry. It's all right. Thanks. As you settle in and rest for the night, Dia not far as well, um, unbeknownst to you all, a shadow passes over this Hamlet. And while it is unnoticed by you, it will be felt by some tonight. Before we go to sleep, I did want to do one quick thing. And then Neela does. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Um, The shadow retreats. (laughs) Sorry, hold on. Just like like, like, real real quick. Real quick. That's my girl. I just, um, (laughs) if if it's possible to like get a chance to, as we're all preparing for rest or like guard duty or whatever, Neela would like to just like kind of like quietly sidle up between Astrid and Pry. And just, hey, can I can I ask you two like a question before we sleep? Yeah, I'm so honored that your first instinct for intellectual curiosity would be met by me. Thank you. That seemed mean. What? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I'm about to disappoint you um, oh, because okay. intellectual curiosity is probably not something that is going to happen like super mm-hmm. soon. Um, but, but I, um, I got an idea from the, the weird guy back there with the, the these things. Oh, okay. Um. That uh, prize is gone, by the way. <gasps> oh, did you like, yeah. Wow. Not the first ink I've gotten, not the last. Uh, good, actually, because that's kind of why I wanted to talk to you both is, um, you know, Astra's been helping me with this. Oh, okay. And um, she'll gesture again to that like scarring around um, her face and down her neck a little bit. I uh, I thought like because you got like the, the magic with the plant and the healing thing. Yeah. Do you need more of it? 
Well, I thought that because you've got the magic with the ink in the. Yeah. I was wondering what. Well, because I, I don't think I want it to go away anymore. Good. Okay. Good. Continue. I'm sorry. I'm not excited about what I think is coming. Continue. I. And like, it doesn't have to be like the, like where it's like it doesn't have to be magic, magic. I just want it. I think to be mine. Yeah. And not. I... Like that, and not. I want it to maybe at all of us. If you could, with the ink and with the magic, and I don't really know how any of that works, but if if you could help me make this something else. It would be my honor. Vince, I have a brand new wand that allows me to inscribe uh, like words with, or designs, or anything drawn with a magical power. <gasps> Can I please make a magic Relax. tattoo? Uh, you will need some medium. So I will say this. Oh, you mean like the sacred ink I've been talking about this entire season? <laughs> do you want to go? <laughs> you what should. are you asking? <laughs> I didn't know there could be so many falling boulders in this tavern. <laughs> <laughs> Yet here we are. <laughs> it's wow. so precarious if you all look up. <laughs> uh, I just got hit by a rail. <laughs> You you pitched to me what you'd like to do here. What are you trying to accomplish? Uh, my dream of dreams is to uh, be able to take whatever design we agree on and just add some sort of like low level magic that I have access to already, just to like bolster her or just give her something a little extra on top of just covering her tattoos. Like yeah. I have, okay, cool. I'd say you get the feeling that this wand is a uh, pen spike, whatever, is limited in its charges. It is limited in how much it can convey. Um, but if you can tell me precisely what you'd like to do, we can see if we can make it happen. What is the plan? What do you design? How do you do? What does, what do it do? What do you do? How do you do? I want a do do? swirling design that looks like the way light refracts off of water. That would remind her of like ocean waves and just the sort of light and dark of that. Uh, and I've already used this spell on you once. Mm -hmm. So I would want it to be something akin to warding bond. Where if I activate it, uh, her resistance to all damage goes up, but I take all the damage that she takes. And you're so squishy. So squishy. I gotta offer you something for this. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I'm into it. Cool. I dig it. Yeah, I'm I'd say you can absolutely do that. that. I want to use part of um, potion number forty-three. <gasps> yes, as like, like to mix into the medium of the mm -hmm. actual tattoo. Yeah, because it's like Christ. iridescent, so it's gonna look like the ocean a little bit. So unless Neela wants just black ink, or she can have iridescent ink. What are we doing to this it'll woman? Look like moonlight <laughs> refracting off of like dark ocean water. Mm -hmm. This is gonna. Be and then also, whatever effect she's doing might duplicate. So yeah, I'd say you have a choice here. <laughs> if you want the potion to have a the potion effect, you will consume the entire potion doing this. Um, you could add a bit just for the color and the flavor of it. If you'd like it to do something, you will use the whole potion. Do it. Neela, it's your choice. Oh. Wait, you know, I you, you got, yeah, you stole it for me, so it's yours. Well, what if you need it for something like Really important. I can. I'm making a choice because you're both going to be noble about it, <laughs> using it. <Yeah. laughs> okay, I really, I do do what I'm told. Apparently, it's yeah. what. It's, yeah. Okay. I like that about you. You take the silvery potion and your ink, and you inscribe this tattoo on her. And you notice it is not. You don't feel the pain of a needle, but it does seep into your flesh all the same and stay put um, fairly well. It has both the deep black of that ink and the silvery shining tones of the potion number 43. You do have that activatable warding bond that Pry has chosen to inscribe and further with potion number 43 now in your flesh. You will be able to once take a spell used on you, have learned it, and use it a single time back at someone else. Can it can also be saved, huh? Can it, is it healing as well, or is it always only attacked? 
So like if Anything. she gets any any spell high. used on her, but you can choose to to use it. So like you can go many spells can be used on you. You decide what you pick up and use, but you only get one. And I can only use the spell once I'm Correct. Active. All right. I'm going to write that down. Holy smokes. I just want to check if this stabby. thing's working. Uh, you got like a stabby thing? <laughs> a, a knife? Yeah. Yeah, I pull off with a knife from my thigh. Uh, can you cut her, please? It's a knife. I got oh. it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> can we not do this? <laughs> Fuck. Ow, like, hang on. <laughs> Please don't. Be careful. <laughs> you be careful. That hurt less than it normally does, right? Yeah, I feel like nothing. Cool. Are you good? Try again. <laughs> I'm gonna take I slap her and I'm her. like, ow! <laughs> oh. Oh, what did you do? Warning bond. What? But I don't know what that is. Explain. Uh, <laughs> she's resistant to all damage. Win. Mm. But I take whatever she takes. Mm. That's. Please heal yourself. I'm gonna go to bed now. That's fair. <laughs> you good? Is she still gushing like open? No, not re- re- No, it doesn't look too bad actually. Mm. Oh, okay. Probably worse. Uh, I think it's just Pry is not used to feeling the sensation of pain. It's yeah. just like, is this what pain feels like? Ow! <laughs> yeah, careful, mate. It's uh, so usually you just die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pry's oh, our one shot yeah. queen over here. <laughs> <laughs> you're never conscious <laughs> long enough for it to hurt. That's true. <laughs> uh, okay. You good? Do you like it? And uh, absolutely, yeah, Neil will absolutely take, take a moment and, and like look in probably the mirror and just. Did you take pieces of of Lucas drawings here in that way? There? He's an incredible artist. <laughs> <laughs> in his sleep. Always <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> streaming. So I put a blanket over him. It's like there's a little piece of everybody in here. But it's still you, still yours. Thank you both. I am. Um, I knew it was a weird question, and it's not intellectual curiosity, but I thought. You know, my. I'm not used to asking for stuff like this, and I appreciate it very much. Thanks. Yeah. Ask anytime. Well, hopefully, I don't need another uh, one, you know? <laughs> I meant it more like asking these questions. Yeah. Also, you don't have to hurt yourself for me like that. You know, you don't. You Never, don't have ever, to. Never ever tell me what to do again. I didn't tell you. I didn't say you had to. I said you didn't have to. I take one step back. And she's just very clearly smiling. It's just listen. Mm. I'll I appreciate it. When it's it. Appropriate. I'm all not right. leaving this up all the time. Look, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I, I certainly wouldn't. Listen, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I will just appreciate it. You are, thank you. You protect us all. If I can do this a little bit to help you, I'm glad to do it. Uh, sorry about the stabbing. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was, <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. We should all rest now, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and Definitely. brew a potion. Because we're out. <sighs> I'm going to just lean back against <clears throat> the, the like door in the hallway and, and take that first wash. If you have the materials and vials to do I it, feel free two. to uh, roll for it. Um, but as night passes... And the shadows. And the shadow. Morning indeed comes. And as you all stir awake and prepare for the day, you find in the main room of the tavern, Dia is already up, geared and waiting uh, in the by the table you were sat at last night, and just idly staring out of a window. Hey, sleepyhead. Oh, uh, good morning. How'd y'all sleep? Pretty yeah, good. pretty good. Yeah, nothing exploded. Oh yeah, what? I, I have like a vague memory. What was going on last night? There was some was Nothing something to worry happening. About. 
We were worried something was going to happen. Just wanted you to be prepared. But okay, it end, was fine though. It was fine. Okay. In the end, it was okay. Yeah. Right, except for um, the people who love you. Oh uh, yeah, but we're, we're leaving. Right. We should get going. Yeah. ASAP. Oh yeah, um. Yeah, so the ruin's not far from here. It's just a couple of miles south. Okay. Um, and it was kind of supposed to be off the beaten path, but it can be um, it can be a little tricky for the horses. They're not going to be able to probably go super quickly, but we'll still probably get there in less than an hour. At least if oh. what I'm told is correct. Easy, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to head out fairly immediately if you want to. Yeah. Okay. What did you roll? I got a 16. Nice, that is a tonic, I believe, right? Yeah, I got Correct. one tonic because I used two ingredients. Okay, to great. To lower the DC. Hell yeah. Great. Do you um, need any breakfast? Oh, uh, I think we could probably get going. I'm, I don't want to stay here and have people show up again and then... Yeah, but we got to eat. Uh, I'll just go up to the bartender really quickly. Can Hello. Hi, right, how's it going? Uh, can I get just get like some bread to go? Bread. No? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me see what we have. All right. Um, right. Uh, I'm so scared. Everyone immediately stares at Joe. I've. Can I interest you in some crackers and some nuts? That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did the bit. Um, That's a good bit. Uh, yeah, if you want Pip on you, then uh, sure, I can make that work. Absolutely. Right, thank you. There's your nuts and your crackers. It, they're going to be a bit dry. We've had them in the larder for the better part of a year. That's okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you from around here? Me? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> I just scooped them up. And I just, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, right. Leave in. Um, and um, yeah, so your horses are tethered and obviously the covered part. Mm -hmm. um, that they were not drenched in the night. Good. Um, still muddy though, a, a bit just mm -hmm. in the mud. Uh, and uh, do you all decide to set off south as uh, Dia yeah. also uh, yeah. mounts her horse? Before as well? uh, we leave, uh, yeah. uh, Luca's just going to walk up to Steven and like put a hand on him and say, See you later. Um, tell. Uh, Lila, Lily, Lilac, and Gertrude. <laughs> I wrote the, their names down. Uh, I hope they have a good life, and I hope you have a good life. Okay, bye. <laughs> and he walks out. And as you walk out of the tavern and you leave, the door closes. Steven gets up, finally sober now, and looks at the bartender. Who the hell was that? <laughs> and the bartender says, uh... I have no idea, Olzo, but um, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone now. That's not Stephen. <laughs> uh, Incredible. And uh, yeah, you all set off south. Um, there's uh, no path or road leading down this way, but Dia does seem to know where she's going. At least enough that she's leading the pack. Is there herbs that I can pick along the way? I'd say not on the one-hour trip you're taking because you're kind of in motion the entire time. It's less like a multi-day journey where you stop at various periods to rest and such. Um, but yeah, you, uh, you, you plot along on the horses, and they indeed can't manage anything more than a trot, if even that. Um, it is a bit rocky, it is a bit rough terrain, um, up and down, but in about an hour, the morning sun cutting silhouettes of treetops, you notice that the forest is starting to thin ahead just a little bit. Coming out, there's a rather large clearing before you, uh, probably several acres, in a roughly circular shape. At its center, jutting like a sword from the earth, a tower. Easily five stories tall or more, cylindrical and quite wide. It's an impressive structure, but thoroughly out of place in the middle of this forest. As we're um, like pulling up to it, I would like to ritually cast Detect Magic, um, since we have a little time on the on the commute. Yeah, great. Right. The last leg of it. Awesome. We can have it up when we get there. You notice one final thing, however. Stationed outside of the tower, there's a collar crumpled against the stone face in a bloody heap. Oof. Someone has been here already. And on that, we will take a very short break. Oh my god! Yeah! yeah. Violence! Stay, don't go anywhere, I'll know 
I love you. We'll be right <laughs> <Wait>. back. <laughs> that was a journey. Incredible. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to the Boros Saga Bane's Break. We are in episode 12, and our heroes have just come upon the tower with the crumpled, apparently deceased corpse of a collar out front. Hmm. What do you do? Well, What's the tech magic here? say? Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, wh whoever's here is clearly our kind of people, right? Yes. I will no magic is presenting uh, outside of the obvious. Okay. I checked to see what kind of wounds. Yeah, I want. Okay. Yeah, it's checking for signs of life. On Great, our guy. So you approach the tower, and uh, yeah, checking the collar over. Not only is he very dead, mm -hmm. uh, with bones broken in. You just... truly just never want me to get to use fairly dying. Is that no. why? Is that? <laughs> yeah, you that's what you got me. What have I ever done? You need feel... to go. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Um, Sorry, good to you. Wow. Uh, he's very dead and also a little bit cold to the touch. I will say, though, not as cold as the morning around you. The body is still losing heat, um, but he's okay. been dead for a hot minute. All right. I can day. And just so many breaks in the bones, just every bone broken multiple times. Okay. Does this look like a but mechanical no, ass whooping or a magical one? Roll me a medicine check. I would love Ooh. to do that for you. There's no like stab wounds of blood or anything other, apart than. Not I that guess. you can see, no. He just looks. What would you roll? I don't want to talk about it. He, he, he beat the shit. Okay. He got hearted. He got bad. He got a big ouchie. Oh, big ouchie. <laughs> does it. Does it look like. Like. Luca had had a, had a go at, at him, or like when like with the the collar zone like weapons and stuff. Roll medicine. Oh god. <laughs> I was like, I have guidance. At least you better than I did. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at that point, like I would I would know what it looks like if someone was beat to shit like with bare hands or with like collar batons or whatever. Listen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I will not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a wisdom, not intelligence. Okay, thirteen. Ooh. The best you can tell is it looks like blunt force trauma. You couldn't identify a weapon. But so you it didn't do have know, like the zap zap of the... That is the thing is you do know the collar weapons tend to leave like burn marks or like a little bit of scoring um, behind. Um, you don't see that. It okay. does look like just blunt force trauma. All right. Thank you for reminding me. Do we still have a bunch yeah. of their weapons? We absolutely do. <gasps> you have whatever you took from before, yeah. What? I think you have two. I have one I have and you two. have one. I took one of just so many batons. Yeah. <laughs> they seem light and versatile. I would love to offhand attack with them. What They're is really not the bad. damage? Like, what's their damage die? We'll come, we'll get there, we'll yeah. get there. We'll when you, when we'll you want to use it, you let me know. Okay. Um, at the base of the tower as well, there is a simple two-sided wooden door uh, with just one side slightly cracked open. It is smeared in blood. Ooh, my kind of place. <laughs> Maybe peace. Yeah. I, I just said that real loudly. I'm so sorry. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> the echo. I will try again for past that trace and hope that I do better this time. Great. <laughs> Anyone who wants to be snacky, uh, roll your stealth. Add plus, plus 10. 10 to your modifier. Oh my God, goodness, that's so good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So we have so Neela. 24. Jibe. 19. Curse. 21. Astrid. 30. Oh! Uh, Pry. Twelve. Because oh, of the natural one. <laughs> and then Luca. Thirty. <sighs> Priv, what went on? I can't take you anywhere. Um, <laughs> I, can't. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I will say, a twelve is not catastrophic. It's really not. You are not terribly natural stealthy. One plus one plus ten. <laughs> but look, I will not give uh, you the crit fail on the skill check. It's yes. okay. You got a twelve. It is all right. It's but not so be. bad. And... Your various high 20s and 30s will give you a little bit of cover as you sneak about. It's enough to make up for your terrible... I did a bad job, but I'm so bad. Um, are you choosing to enter the tower? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
cannot. Now you're See you later. Okay. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Here's the thing. You should. Uh, yeah. uh, just from Can't learning from sword. experience, maybe I'm getting smarter. Who knows? I think probably intelligence is contagious. Sure. That's how that works. Um, so if I go first, I will, and there are things waiting for us. I will just make those things happen. If someone else goes first who pays attention and is smarter than me, they might see those things before they happen. Um, is this a magic tower or a not magic tower? I'm going to say this to um, Dia, who's with us, right? She's here, yeah, and she's just sort of like taking this all in. <laughs> what? Um, is, it, is it a magic... What do you mean magic tower? Like, <laughs> is this the kind of thing where someone who is observant and intelligent should go first? Or is this the kind of thing where someone who is um, strong and uh, I breaks things should go first? I don't know what's in here. I know that the former owner was apparently a practitioner of magical arts. Mm. Um, I don't know what's waiting for us inside. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's going to be magic. See, I'm happy to go first. I just, if someone is worried about being smart. No, I'll go. Don't worry about it. I don't want to go first, but I will say there's not any magic right here or right around the door. At least, not magic. There could still be very dangerous things, but there's Could you keep an eye around? Yeah. Like, as like, a little bit back, because I'm worried more about... Actually... I just did pass that trace that dropped my detect magic. Shit. Good luck. Well, well I you're also right. there totally wasn't it, when so. I did check. Yeah, yeah. I yes. was here. You are yeah. right. You currently detect no magic. Yeah. Oh, wait, I did ritually. But ritually cast would still require me to keep up my concentration. Yes. yes. Yeah. So but you're okay. I got you. I saw you casting it. I also did it. I just feel like you have a bad reputation with doors. Listen, <laughs> now I have to kick this door down. I hope you understand. Okay. Later. It's but even better because it's already open. Right. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah still, kick it. I'm worried it's about DC of one. magical traps. 70. That's what I'm worried about. There's physical traps, obviously, um, but if mm-hmm. they're... Um, okay, I'm going to do this. The door opens really fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to first, I'm going to hand you a dagger. Here you go, okay. just so you have it. Thank you. Yeah, I use uh, my short bow anyway a whole bunch. So yeah, if you want the other one too, just let me know. No, I thank you. This is more than enough. Okay, and I'll great. Get a sword back at some point. I promise. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna pull out my uh, bag of ball bearings, which I believe I have nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine of, because I used one to test the trap earlier. <laughs> and, <laughs> For the plates. Um, you will need to count those to double check. <laughs> and I'm gonna retrieve one. it. Um, <laughs> no. He's a you know vampire. what though? Thank you for tracking your ammo. Thank you. Appreciate uh, that. And you're welcome. Um, <laughs> Don't and... thank me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, no, happy birthday to you. <laughs> uh, I and and I'll I'll go ahead and I'm gonna have the ball bearings and just I'm gonna chuck one in front of me just to test. Yeah. Great. Uh, I'll I'll lead the the way a little bit and then just like throw these right. and then. Please be careful. Dad. I'll be right behind you. Don't get smashed. Don't get smashed. Oh yeah, Boy, like the smash. what happened to that person? Uh, oh yeah, good point. Yeah. Look, if any smashing looks imminent, I'm right there. Okay, great. I can also jump out of the way pretty quickly, so. And I'll be there to take whatever happens. I actually can kind of jump out of the way pretty quickly too if I can see it coming. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna activate warding bond. <laughs> oh no, buddy. Do I? Do I feel it? Do I know? Uh. Ooh. Yes. Because I think uh, what you hear is the sound of a crashing wave. <sighs> Bird, crashing wave, marble. Listen, it's a hard noise to do, okay? <laughs> I'm trying back here. You <laughs> said. <laughs> you like put a pill in your mouth. <laughs> I was fully expecting as you like lift it and just you just go. Okay. <laughs> so here's it went into a sea cave. You know? <laughs> he just like here comes the drained himself. <laughs> when I hear someone say a noise I could make, my mouth just makes the noise, irrespective of what I'm also trying to do. Right. Right. <laughs> Good. You're in the room. <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> a horse neighs. <laughs> Amazing. Yay. Uh, <laughs> Inside, you're greeted by a fairly humble entryway on this, this first ground floor. A few boxes seem to have once contained storage in one form or another, and there are trappings indicating the floor was once used to shelter horses, with a larger door visible at the other end of the room. 
Uh, a spiral stair circles upwards in the center of the room, and there are the bodies of three more collars, bloodied and crumpled here as well. One of whom is on the stair, and looks like, I'd say this is pretty easy to spot. Wouldn't really take much, yeah, wouldn't take much to suss out. Looks like he was kind of shoved onto the stair, and his body is like fried and singed. Well, well, that's a good luck. To be riddled with does, does the does the stairs do the magic thing? You do not detect any magic on the stairs. I do not detect any magic on the stairs. Hmm. Just to be safe, I'll chuck a ball bearing up there. Ding, 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 ding. Mark it off. <laughs> Come back seven, baby. Uh, we okay. Anyone else want a baton while we're here? Yeah, I've got two already. <laughs> no? All right. All right. Well, you just lost a dagger. You want a baton? No, that's okay. He's you want a baton cool. instead of a sword? Uh, do you want the baton instead of a sword? Oh, no, it's okay. All right. Do you uh, want a sword? I have a rapier. Use the batons. It feels like... <laughs> all right, I'm going to walk you up the stairs then. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, all guys. Thank right you now. all. Like, right? yeah. <laughs> Thank you, do you all. Do you, do you need want something? A, do, you, yeah. do you want a baton? I, I think my I think daggers are okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the store. Maybe want yeah. <laughs> I have a candle. I'm going to the closet. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go look uh, anyone I'll start creeping up the stairs very carefully with first. I'll uh, be right on Drive's heels. I'm so stressed. Okay. All right, I'm going to go upstairs. You going to be okay? Uh, yeah, just don't get uh, cooked, I oh. guess. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, if I if anything happens to me, um, someone, uh, you know, Cure sure. me or save me or. I'll you know. throw you back down to the people who can save you. I'll be right here. Okay, perfect. Look at that. <laughs> Great. Uh, don't forget your armor class goes in by one. Oh yeah. Uh, Jive, you are creeping up the stair. I'm creeping up the Is stair. That right. Yeah. Um. Like, yeah. It does not appear to fry thing? you. Great. Um. You come up actually uh, and out into what appears to be a floor dedicated to living, cooking, and general rest and relaxation. Cooking implements, ovens, larders, and food storage line the northern wall. A series of cushioned seating fills the center of the floor. Reading nooks by windows, a fireplace and mantle with art, largely landscape and historical pieces, decorating any vacant walls. A segmented desk runs some of the length of the western wall, and a stair snakes up the south wall to the next floor above. There are no collar corpses on this floor. Okay. Uh, I passed the collar corpse, right? There's one on the stair, yes. Uh, I would like to just like check it over. What are you looking for? I've, I don't know. Like, like cause what of death? To it? Yeah. 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 Um, you uh, may uh, maybe a medicine check. It won't take a lot a to figure this check. out. Okay. Oh my god. And I guess I also looked as I went by. Twelve. So I, I mean, it's not a high DC. I'm nineteen. Ooh. It's not a high DC. Uh, at the very least, you can determine that. Um, I think this is true for both of you, actually, honestly, that there is some blunt force trauma, mm -hmm. um, but that the caller was mostly killed by something that uh, seemed to have fried him, some magical effect uh, that very well could have been on the stairs. Uh, okay. So there's a cooking area, right? That I've, we've gotten to now. Kitchen, kitchen, living room, sort of combined. Yeah, open concept. Really nice. Uh, is there any like um, food items, like bags of uh, flour or rice or anything like that? Yeah. Does this place look like someone has been like squatting here at all? It or? is vacant and dusty as hell right. and Nothing? empty. It looks like it has not been lived in in at least decades. Are there signs of uh, other people passing through recently, if it's so dusty? Like, has anything been disturbed? Roll perception, just to take in generally. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tell me. Uh, 21. Okay. You do notice, uh, Neela, <laughs> I'm assuming Jive doesn't, um, <laughs> but you do notice, and Jive, here's the thing, is you can see the obvious. There is dust disturbed. Okay. Um, for sure. You can tell there is activity. But mm -hmm. Neela, you're picking up a bit more detail here, wherein uh, it looks like there are footprints that have uh, traced around the room a little bit, but not in a lot of detail. No one seems to be like really breaking this room down looking for anything, but they do 
uh, continue up the stairs to the room above, the level above. And I can't tell if it was like collar boot prints or like any other kind of like. You rolled a 19? I did, and a 21. A 21, sorry. Um, you're, you're noticing collar boot prints. Up here. Yes, a 21. You I never find get those. one other footprint. And there's no prints leading to it or away from it. It is a single, not even two of them, a single footprint. And it looks like a pad. Like um, Like a paw print? Like a paw print. Mm, that's not very good. Like, but like humanoid sized or like large, like like I mean, I'm not sure how well versed you are on beast feet. Uh, but like, does it look like it's like a purple? monstrous creature from the woods, or like somebody, <laughs> uh, <laughs> or, like, or like somebody uh, like Jibe or or um, or Luca, who are you know like? I suppose you've seen enough tabaxi feet well, in your time. Um, really? <laughs> You're on Wikipods. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that implication, but okay. A lot of tabaxi are sailors, is what I'm saying. Correct. And, uh, <laughs> And they be showing feet. <laughs> well, actually, it's it's a common thing. Tabaxi will often exactly. not wear footwear, um, at least not that covers Especially the whole foot because of the shape climbing, of the feet. Of the and it's it's much more actually it's much more versatile to move around <laughs> without <laughs> footwear on. <laughs> and they do have thick pads. Um, so I'd say yeah, with your with your sailing experience, which converts to Tabaxi feet experience. <laughs> on wiki paws. <Okay>. Um, <laughs> this looks like, with a 21 I'll give you, it looks like it could be a tabaxi footprint. Okay, okay. I, I was in like a big foot from the woods is here, but okay, that's fine. No, There's... it can be a cryptid if you want it to be. Oh. Oh, listen, the, the real cryptids are the... <laughs> 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 okay, um, right. I can't, I can't finish the sentence. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back uh, to the collar. Uh, Jai has an idea. It goes back to the collar that's crumpled in the stairs, and takes his boots. Nice. Great. Um, Freebie. Free boots. I, I what? <sighs> it goes back up. How are you gonna search the beans? Farther? Nothing. I they do the thing that the cat feet do, or like when you poke them in the middle, and they go. Yeah. And they stretch and then them they out. Grab yeah. <laughs> I, I, while Jive goes downstairs for a second, I might, uh, Neela might just kind of like look around for, and like, especially because there's just one. A single print, print yeah. Like one print. And just like start looking around. Hello? <laughs> there's no response. You see no tabaxi on the walls or ceiling. Uh, that's like the edge of my. Intellectual curiosity. This is going to be my new thing. Sorry, Sorry, I wanted to, to come up. Hereditary uh, style. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, that one is so cool. You look up and there's like. Rah! Sorry. <laughs> 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 Something else. Um, anyway, okay. you uh, all certainly can't yeah, come yeah, up. Yeah, I want to so, start going. So, up. first level is cleared, uh, or maybe this is second level? Depends uh, which what culture was you on come that from. first level that we came in from? Literally just a bit of storage and what looked like accommodations to keep horses. Okay, that's it. Yeah, then I'll head up as well. All right. This one's clear. I'm going to keep going up the stairs to see what the second or third story is. I'm going to count up uh, the st- like, Okay, uh, actually, I can just Are we doing ground one, two, or one, two, three? Are we in Spain, or are we not in Spain? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Jibe? It's up to you, man. What's in your heart? Uh, that was ground fl- four. This is second floor. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no first floor. Fun little mix of the two. Okay, okay, <laughs> respect. Okay, um, yep. It seems like the bodies that we keep finding have triggered a bunch of traps, but it doesn't seem like anyone made it beyond this point. No, we saw we no see we see this. footsteps footsteps going up. Yeah, don't we? Including boot prints. Yes. So we have like the, there's definitely boot prints. Bodies. Oh yeah, like, there's, there's no bodies, but there's still more footprints up. My well, concern is that there's traps that they haven't acted. Well, let's go check. And I chuck one of the boots up <laughs> into the stairs. <laughs> 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 There's also, I think there's somebody else here. Oh. <laughs> but it's just, that's an important piece of information. I'm waiting for you guys to get up here. I go up to the steps as far as I throw the boot, I throw another boot. I think it's a tabaxi. Oh. You just keep hearing the boot slaps as I go up to the next floor. Uh, follow up. Uh, you ascend the stair. And but above it's, you, it's a one-legged tabaxi for sure. <laughs> <laughs> above you come out into a segmented floor. Um, the room Yardstick. immediately around you 
as you come out of the stair. Uh, taking up nearly half the floor looks like an expansive study with desks, storage for papers and defects, what look to be drafting tables and something similar to an apothecary table across the way, but with a slightly differing design. Another stair leads up from here and two doors on this floor lead to other rooms. There is what appears to be a family portrait on the wall above the main drafting decks, uh, desk. rather. Hmm. Uh, Nobody look at any more paintings. <laughs> oh, too late. Uh, what's on the what's what does this family look like? Yeah, you approach the um, you approach the portrait. It is an oil painting, quite large. It takes up a good bit of the wall. You see uh, a mother, a father, and a child. Looks to be like a young son. Um, they all have fairly light hair. I'd say blonde or like a very sandy, very sandy brown. Um, and I will say that they they are dressed. Very nicely, a very, very sort of upscale, um, a bit posh, a bit aristocratic. And I'll say, this is also true for anyone else examining the portrait. Um, they look just faintly, and I'm saying ever so vaguely, vaguely, faintly familiar, but you cannot place how. Hmm. One second. Wait, it's real <sighs> big though, right? It's, it's a big, big portrait, yeah. So maybe clear first. Yeah, maybe on our way out. Like roll it up. Do we know who these people are? Can do we have the names or anything? Look, look at, yeah. like their clothes, like what culture they might be from, or mm. like right, sorry, oh. are these elves? Or, I missed that. That'd, yeah, be, sorry, a, that'd are, be a freebie they... for you. I'm sorry, these are elves. Okay. Yes. Okay. And the clothing Astrid you what would recognize kind of elves? as. <laughs> There's a lot of that. <laughs> Damn, the. Pointy ear kind. Ew. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> you'd recognize the clothing as distinctively Eurasian, okay. very Eurasian culturally. Um, however, there is a whole ass floor here, and this definitely looks like uh, the place where they'd store a lot of things like documentation and two rooms you have not explored. What would you like to do here? I can keep going up and checking the floors if everyone wants to explore the individual spaces. I feel like we should clear the whole floor before we go up to the next one. Because like, okay. what if something's coming up behind us? You can also fly, can't you? Yeah. 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 Oh, so you can also, dear, uh, well, you, yeah. did you say exactly what you were looking for again? She's Is already it... going through oh, like, right. some drawers. There she goes. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Careful with it. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna also look around unless somebody needs me to be a shield for them somewhere. Uh, Is there any magic? 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 What? Um, <laughs> nope. Yeah. Uh, curiously enough, well, you don't pick dear. up any magic on dear. this floor, but you do pick up magic coming from the floor just above. Ooh. I want to go upstairs really badly. You want to go upstairs? There's something up there, magical. All, All right. right. I feel like well, I should, yeah. I okay, well, I'll lead the boot way and follow me. <laughs> okay. I chuck a boot up. Actually, I've got a bit of rope. What I'm doing is I'm checking the boot up and I've tied rope to it and I pull it down every step just to check. Nice. Great. Ooh. Clear. I go up. <laughs> Clear. Throw up one last one. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> clear. It seems pretty clear. Uh, okay, great. And I get up to the top. Uh, meanwhile, is there a crew checking out the various rooms and artifacts and such in this floor? Yeah, yeah. I want to start with the apothecary. I want to mm, examine that thing. Great, yes. What's the other room? Uh, there are two other rooms. Doors are closed. Oh, okay, cool. Do you go into one of them? Yeah, I'll go into one of them. One appears to be a much larger, given just like the position of the doors relatively, one's a much larger room, one much smaller. I picked the big one. Big room, nice. Uh, we'll resolve the apothecary table first. Okay, it's, uh, I got a 20 for investigation. Nice. nice. Um, Let's go. You're digging through it and you realize, yes, this is used for... Something akin to alchemy, but it's it's not potion making like you understand it. Okay. This is a very uh, the application of a very material specialization of alchemy. Um, whoever owned this house, or at least whoever owned this desk, um, was involved in the material sciences, and you find like traces of various um, uh, metals, elements, um, and evidence that there was some experimentation going on here too. Uh, create new compounds along that line. So like um, alchemy, alchemy. 
Yeah, very much like very traditional alchemy uh, without a potion component. Um, and that's, uh, that's about all you get from this. There's the evidence of some like sigils uh, drawn into various notes and scribbled out. Someone was clearly experimenting at this desk. And you would find the same on the drafting tables. Someone had very much been pursuing this as their profession. In the big room. Uh, it is a next largest uh, to the study here. Uh, it appears to be the owner's suite. Okay. Um, the main bedroom. It's a grand, massive bedroom with a large four-poster bed, the posters of which are strung to the ceiling, hanging down with fabric cascading the length of it down to the floor um, all around the bed itself. There is a dresser, a mirror, and a jewelry box neatly set upon it. Interesting. I guess the... I guess he would go for the jewelry box first and kind of like look around a little bit of it and see if there's anything weird about it. Like, is there any like dust misplaced or? Uh, actually, like the jewelry box looks entirely untouched, as though it had not been um, disturbed in again at least decades. Okay, okay I open it. Uh, everyone, say goodbye to Luca. We've had a lot of fun having you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> It's not actually trapped. Uh, you open it and you do notice there is a necklace inside. Oh no. Um, <laughs> there is a necklace inside. It is very intricately woven of... You, th you thought it was solid gold at first. Uh -huh. And so you realize it is thousands of combined tiny, just microscopic, microscopic rather, um, threads of gold that are woven and woven and woven and woven to look like ropes. Um, still though, it's still like about that thick. It's a very narrow rope, but woven of so many fine threads that terminates down into what looks like a chunk of, the best guess would be like aquamarine or a similar stone at the bottom uh, woven into it. Very pretty, very nice. And very, again, you wouldn't have so much ex uh, exposure to this culture, but very Eurasian. Can I like close it and like take it? The whole box? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna close it and take it and just like, out loud say like, you know, I might like this. Just like Aww. my bag. It is mad dusty. It is dusty. Um, you sneeze. Feel a little bit sneezy. <laughs> That's too. <laughs> it was a little bit sneezy. Yeah. Um, uh, you said there was a dresser inside of there as well. There is a dresser. Is, yes. Is it okay if I check that out really quickly? Oh, take your time, man. Open. Yeah. Uh, look, we're all here. Just have to have fun, man. Go through all the Open clothes drawers. you want. Open, Open drawers. Live your life. Open drawers. Um, you find a few scant bits of clothing, and I mean like a sock and like a pant. Um, a sock? A sock. Just well, one, sock. Only one sock. One sock? <laughs> one paw print? Oh, oh see, <laughs> Jabaxi with one leg. Theory still strong. Um, beyond am, that though, it is empty. I am going to take that Name sock. Is. Take the sock, yeah. The sock yeah. is mine. Yardstick. Um, is <laughs> there anything else in this room that looks like there might be something yardstick, of interest? I mean, roll a perception. I will do, I will perceive. <laughs> My, this room, uh, with a 22. <laughs> it seems fairly unremarkable. Obviously hasn't been used in a very, very long time. Bed, unslept in, terrifically dusty. Um, yeah, I'll say that about does it. There's not much else in here that you can tell. Baluska ending? Getting out? Meanwhile, uh, I believe Jibe and Pry, you were heading up, right? Kirsch, yeah. you also as well? I was heading up. You were all yeah, heading up, yeah, okay. Yeah, so before we get up there, I'd like to resolve this floor a little bit. Um, Astrid, after you've checked out the apothecary table, you see uh, Luca go into the main room. Where do you go? What do you do? Uh, and Dia's going through like the desk and the, is there Dia cases? is still going through papers, yeah. And she's actually pulling several aside. She has a little stack that she's making. I'm gonna take an eye. I'm gonna s see how many papers she's putting aside right now and kind of keeping a mental tab because she wants to make sure that they talk about it later. Uh, is there anything else that's interesting? Otherwise, she's going to go check out the other door. I think that's about it. Um, as you do walk over to the other door, though, you see um, Dia stand, and she, like, uh, you, you orders the papers. Yeah, uh, no, 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 yeah, I'm fine. Just uh, looking through a few things. Okay. Mm. Fuck that room. I'm going to go back <laughs> and be like, okay, what do you have? What did you find? I mean, um, you don't have to tell me, but I'm very curious because... No, it's, it's fine. Uh, these are just some ownership records, um, some... I look over her shoulder. Information about the family. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, Happy what's birthday. up? 
And you see. You see, she's looking at a document right now that has, there's a seal at the top. Okay. Which looks to be like strands of something weaving and stringing together, which form the shape of the uh, interior island of Kesaras. You, you recognize that shape from the yeah. maps. Um, specifically, though, the document seems to detail a short, not, not a biography, but like gets into a bit of the family history of the Driad family. And you notice a few names on there. Um, it identifies the father as Amos Driad, the wife as Vila Driad. How do you wait? V E L A. Okay. And yeah, right. Beautiful. One's <laughs> easy. Yeah. One's easy. <laughs> and the son, the child, as Kavas Driad. Oh. Okay. That's a cool name. All right. Um, she hands you a stack. Also, I think this also might be something important. I haven't had a chance to go through it yet. Okay, um, I'm gonna flip through it and just kind of see if there's anything that. Catches and as me. you skim, and you can certainly peruse it more in depth, obviously at a later date. But as you skim, it appears to detail um, the family's escape during the Sundering. Oh. Um, written in, it's it's handwritten in what you can probably determine from just the way the words are everything structured. As um, Amos is the one writing this, um, details their escape from the Sundering. Um, them having been ostracized in Verdain after initially fleeing to Talthim Sa when it was discovered that they were um, in the Aresian aristocracy, um, and their son's interest in magic. Mm. Amos then details before the letter terminates um, their plan to move to Tarif okay. to pursue a life for him there and attend the Royal School of Divinity and Development. Okay. In Tarif, which is one of the more prestigious uh, universities there. Is no, we're not there. Um, I'm gonna roll them up and just like put them in my pocket. Interesting. Um, does that ring any bells? Since I've studied the Sundering as much as I can. I will actually say I feel like I'm recalling back to a conversation with Kelsis. That's what I was like. Didn't Kelsis? And say that is the same school? school that Kelsis attended. Oh. Um, that's where you would have heard it before. It also might have come up in your studies. It's a very well-known school. Okay. It's like the Bibliotheca Imperium. Oh. Okay. It's one of the the three most like notable library slash centers of learning. The third being Tayo. Um, so you went to in the school world. at this world? Not so? including Kirahar. Kirahar actually has one of the most um, significant scholarly centers, but it is not accessible to most people. Is there any dates? So it's obviously from like 649? Well, the Sundering would have been 649, yes, but there are no dates on this letter. Okay. Meanwhile, as you proceed over to the smaller room to check it out, and Luca, you emerge from the bedroom, mm -hmm. we're going to cut upstairs real quick. Um... You ascend the stair, mm -hmm. and the floor above uh, that you enter into is dark, nearly pitch black. There is, however, a small glowing stone inlaid on the wall on your left side as you crest the top. <laughs> Detect magic is still up. What does it look like? <clears throat> um, I'm going to call this illusion magic. No, oh, hate that. Okay. okay. And with like a, a pinch. Of conjuration. Oh, fun. What is it? Uh, illusion and conjuration? But mostly illusion. But mostly illusion. <laughs> Does that mean like... What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> that means it's so there's something in here that is uh, not what it seems. What? You good at bows? Am I good at bows? Yeah. <laughs> I'm... Freaking fantastic at bows. Bet you one crest. What? Okay. Uh, oh, not I can shatter that gem before you do. That you can shatter this gem before me. Mm -hmm. What well, if it's a good gem and we want it? Hmm. I don't trust it. Okay. You know how many corpses we've seen? Fair. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, are you trying to trick me into doing it? You can. I mean, I'll. No, do I just. I enjoyed the gambling. We can let it go. No, I'm worried I about that. I want the money. Okay, yeah, no, I'll show you. Yeah, it's fine. No, the moment's yeah. passed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do you want, want to smash it? I want to take go. it. I want to take the bet. Okay, okay. What are we doing to this stone? I'm blasting it with my short bow. Okay. Yeah. 
Roll, roll to attack, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use my attack dice. Ba bomb. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? That was cocked, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. Thank uh, you. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, it, it, it was. It was. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, it was. I believe absolutely you. Was. Wait, no, I I hear you. Okay. Great. I mean, that was worse, but. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But don't worry about it. Uh, Should I take the cock dice? Perfect. Uh, that would that will make it a ten. Can I take a shot at it? <laughs> yeah. With what? Now, if neither, I'm also both, right? Yeah. If neither of you break it, then the bet just settles. No. <laughs> What'd you roll? Six. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Well, here's the thing: is you're also shooting a still target. You're shooting a wall. Yeah. That is not that far from you. Yeah. This wall is so spicy to hit. I will say. Jive, you do not hit well enough to actually destroy the stone. Okay. But the tip of your bolt does actually glance the side of the stone, and it sinks like half an inch into the wall. Oh. And as it does, there's a um, a sputtering, as whatever magic powers this stone is dim and faded after many many years. And when it does depress into the wall, light traces the cracks and seams between every stone in the walls. Oh. And casts a pleasant pale glow upon the room, which was completely pitch black before. I have a light switch. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I hate wizards. <laughs> oh. That was just, good. It's not gonna. I walk up and I push the gem a little bit. It's in. It doesn't go any deeper. That was it. Yeah, I guess. I'm trying like pull it back. Uh, yeah, to I mean, you, away, so you can un- undo it and the light turns off. <laughs> wow, I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> and it turns on. <laughs> We've never it's seen a light switch before. <laughs> so Each nervous. time you push it back in, it sputters worse. All right, all right, all right. Oh. All right. <laughs> uh, you didn't break it. Didn't break it? You said hit it. Did you say break oh, it? shit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> inside, <laughs> you're standing in a very impressive arcanum, a, a place of deep magical study and practice. A what? You're having a moment, aren't you? A massive. It starts to bleed. I'm like, take the coin. I don't care. <laughs> a massive dais so fills the center of the room, traced all along its surface with symbols, imagery, and carvings that defy your knowledge. There's a desk with some scant papers and a couple books on top of it, a rock, a rack rather, containing vials of some kind, and another one of those stone switches, like the light switch you just found, at the other end of the room. However, we're going to cut downstairs real quick. Uh, Luca, you are coming out into the room, mm-hmm. and you see Astrid walking into the smaller room. What do you do? Hi, Astrid. Did you find anything? I found the sock. <laughs> okay. Why? You want to see if it matches that, that paw print on the floor over there? <laughs> <laughs> on the floor beneath you? I don't... If you want to, I will... Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is it roughly the same size as the... I don't even know what to make you roll. Uh, you roll. know, when I take my socks off, they're like this big. <laughs> roll, roll the best... also, if it's a paw print, it's not where it's yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what Astro's roll thinking, for but feet. she's... Uh, roll, in, <laughs> roll investigation. <laughs> Let's find out if you've been on Wikipaw. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Luca has not been on Wikipaw. You don't know I've been on Wikipaw. Claw, Wikipaw. Oh, I've never been happier to roll in that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my god. My the sock god. does not fit. Oh okay, god. cool. Never mind. I, <laughs> just, some pa- just some paperwork. Yeah. Um. Uh, interesting, <laughs> interesting information that we can divulge into tonight, probably. Oh, you should tell the smart people in the group about it. <laughs> yeah, I will tell the smart people in the group about it, even though I've studied the Sundering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is me. Who doesn't I, know how not to be that way? <laughs> and I say that to no one. Ashley's just like. What? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you go upstairs? Go <laughs> oh, them upstairs. That's fair. Somewhere in Carissa's heart, she feels the need to compliment Astrid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go investigate. Like you're not getting the gift. Okay. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Okay. laughs> um, he like walks up the stairs. Oh, Nila. And then Astrid's gonna turn and just <sighs> and mutter something in Infernal. There is something and about this tower that is tearing us apart. <laughs> <laughs> you check out the small room. Can I right? use this tower? Can I hear Infernal? In the... Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just like, fucking, fuck. It's just, it's cussing. Yeah. Fucking fuck. Yeah. Uh, I just he, said that you're perfect. 
<laughs> in the <laughs> other room. Yeah, where's the other room? You find a smaller bedroom. There is a bed, roughly befit a child. Um, there was lightly more furniture in here, you're sure there was, but the entire room has been absolutely torn to shreds, virtually demolished. Oh. Sitting on the heap that was once uh, likely a toy chest, chairs, dresser, all now in a great fractured pile in front of you, is a small stuffed meerkat toy in pristine condition amongst the carnage. There's also the, sh- not shredded, the completely thrashed, crushed up body of a collar stuffed into Ooh. the corner of the room. Oh, we found another body. The whole time. Oh no. I'm playing with a light switch. Um, <laughs> There's a rave um, upstairs. <laughs> what, what, do I have anything? No, but I have nothing. Rave. Um, no, I'm gonna have Kira actually go over and pick up the meerkat toy <sighs> with her, her claws. <laughs> Is it just, you, you, do you feel weird? Cat? Okay, um, can I have it? Okay, I'm gonna take it and like, look at it. It's a little stuffed meerkat. Um, it appears to be stuffed with uh, perhaps down or cotton. Um, and it is neatly detailed with a little face, little beads uh, for eyes. Um, it looks certainly quite old. Uh, it has yellowed a bit, has aged a bit, but it is otherwise in very, very good condition. Why are you on top of a pile of destroyed shit? It does not answer. <laughs> I was hoping it would. <laughs> Dude, what um, if it had started talking? Oh my god! I'm gonna. <laughs> put, uh, I'm gonna be like, Kira, can you hold this? I don't have any more pockets, so I'm gonna give it to her. Um, and then I'm gonna just kind of examine the room and see if I can find a source of what destroyed everything. Mm. If it was like pulled all together. Roll investigation. Like one person like smashed everything and like put it all in a pile. Mm. Oh no. Mm. Oh. That's a five. Wait, it just looks like it's all crushed up. All right, I'm gonna beat to shit. Check the color then. And beat to shit. Well, not like I want to check his all pockets. All crushed up. I want <laughs> money. <laughs> Give me money. I want money. You were looking for coins yes. specifically. Well, I'm just looking for anything, but hopefully money. <laughs> Give me money. You know what happened? <laughs> no, I didn't. You, you, you see that? Happened. No, you don't know what I saw. You, saw, <laughs> you know exactly what's on that die right now. I'm facing you. <laughs> um, <laughs> the collar is bereft of uh, any financial. See, this stuff. is why Oris needs to get destroyed. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't pay. It doesn't pay what happens. I know. I really, I really, yeah, I really nice. tried to make that sentence into something. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> right. I'm gonna remember it the way you wanted it to. Be. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So there's nothing else here. No, not in this room. Just the meerkat. Weird. Um, and I'll take the meerkat ah. toy and. Walk like just kind of like hold it because I'm not sure what to do with the stuffed animal and just walk out of the room. Luca ascends the stair first before you, um, as you're in the room and Astrid following uh, behind. Luca, when you enter the room and you see them like marveling over this massive I'm magical not chamber, I'm looting my guy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean Who to assume. Button? Can someone here please marvel for me? Wow. wow. Thank you. Oh. Oh, this is really uh. Uh, What do you do as you uh, walk up, Luca? Well, first he's gonna marble. Thank wow, you. This Inspiration. Is really pretty. And he's <sighs> gonna... Wow. Nice. And nice. Nice. Super marvelous. And he's Very going marvelous. to like <laughs> inches way over to Neela and just kind of like, wow, this is awesome. I heard you like cool stuff. Do you want cool stuff, Neela? This is pretty. <laughs> it feels like a trap. Anything. This, this is, is trap. absolutely the biggest trap, trap in this tower. Have you, have you looted anything yet? This is such a nice place. Have I looted anything yet? No, the, I I went straight to apparently the top floor where they said there was magic, and it's okay. Take it this. is magic. Just take what is this, it? Just take this. And I hand you the the jewelry box. It's a box. <laughs> Open it. I like, walk a, away. It contains a net. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, the box I do. For the net. I do genuinely think that there's a net inside when I open it. <laughs> oh. And okay. Neela, you being a <laughs> wow. water criminal. Cool. Um, you being a water criminal, you know that necklace is probably very expensive. I was saying, because that much gold also will be very heavy. Mm-hmm. Is it neat? Yeah. Uh, where'd you get this? Oh, downstairs and in, uh, in, on top of a thing. What else was in that room? The sock. 
what are you guys all talking about? And I swing my vision around just to double check if that uh, item is magical. It actually is not. It's just a really nice necklace. Boring! <laughs> we might want to go back. So it was like a, like a master bedroom type deal? Yeah. We might want to go back there at, um, at some point. Astra's well, holding the mirror cat, just waiting for a moment just to... Oh, Astra, you found that? another animal friend. Congratulations. Yeah. What? It was in the kid's room? You took a child's toy? It, okay. It was really creepy. Uh -huh. Everything's destroyed in the room. There's a dead collar, and this was just sitting on top of it. Good job, meerkat. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. And Dia oh, wanders up into the Arcanum as well. Everyone's just wondering. Oh, hey, wow, I'm right. marveling okay, at Marvel. this. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say, Pry, there are only two books in this room. All right, I took those, <laughs> I took those two books. But we'll twelve times. <laughs> what is? Can I hit this one? What happens if I hit this button? Oh, maybe. Hold on, hold on. Let me grab no, all the good stuff before you hit a button and you all die. I will say the, the two books specifically that you grabbed. One is on. It is a deep dive, and you recognize this not necessarily by title, but just by binding, by the way it's um, printed as a very, very old book. Specifically, a deep dive on the schools of magic. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. What's your passive? Either perception or uh, investigation is fine. Fourteen. Okay. Actually, yeah, you notice this. As you put it into your bag, you notice that there's a doggy ear about midway through the book. I'm gonna... Oh, my God. Who? Uh. <laughs> oh, no. Book? Did you get hurt? Are you okay? Why would you dog ear? <laughs> oh, it's a bad <laughs> um, And it is a... It's vellum. <laughs> this is why we invented ribbons. <laughs> it is a chapter on... Act magic. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything? In, I'm reading. It, it's in. Is it in common? It is. Uh, oh, nope. It's in gnomish. Nope. Oh, nope. Oh. It's <laughs> what? Oh, no. Gnomish. Nope. Nope. <laughs> the accent for gnomish. Oh, no. Oh, no. Which is the oh. scholarly language of Boros. You gotta tell me that before I pick Which the language. Which you know. Is. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Like I was always because you absolutely unequivocally would be able to read gnomish. Thank you. Uh, is it? Wait, is it just a general thing, or is it specific? Just like here's stuff about pack magic, or is it like? Man, is this a Horcrux page or what? It what appears it is not a Horcrux page. It <laughs> appears to be a very <laughs> deep dive on the subject of pack magic, specifically not like a university textbook. Like, well, no. sometimes people make deals with entities, yeah. and it's more like a theoretical treatise on what could be possible oh. by forming the right kinds of agreements, and like how almost like like the way you could hack the relationships. What could be theoretically possible on the highest level? It's it feels a little bit dangerous. Like making multiple pacts? Uh, the author, yeah, so the author is is basically positing across, it's a big chat, you have to really sit down and have to dig into yeah. this, um, the ways in which a person could kind of like juggle agreements and create and harvest power by manipulating multiple different realms. Um, it specifies this has not been attempted, but is positing the possibility. I just whisper, praxis, <laughs> in celestial under my breath. Or no, under common, so people can hear it. Uh, and then I pull a ribbon from my pocket because I'm always holding. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> and I increase the, the dog ear. It breaks. <gasps> what? It snaps when you increase it. <clears throat> <gasps> it's been creased for so long, for so <laughs> many years. <laughs> Not the dog ear. <laughs> I didn't pack, I didn't Who's attacking us? Bending. What's happening? Who's what's, attacking us? Uh, right, what's wrong? I tuck it back in and I'll fix it with bending when I take it. <laughs> the, second right book, the second book. The second book right here. The second, second book is a slightly more recent edition. It's still the better part of a hundred years old, mm -hmm. um, but it is on uh, star signs, uh, star charts, celestial oh, movements, what's things like big that. Three. <laughs> well, I'm a double Virgo, <laughs> um, and that. that's it. Uh, well, besides that, that yeah. <laughs> um, there is also because you're at the desk now where those two books were stacked. Yay. There's also a paper, just a single sheet of paper there. Um, and if anyone else wants to check out like the rack with the vials on yeah. it as well. Okay, whoop! Um, my thing! Um, anyone else can do it? Before you do that, uh, so Pry, you find a sheet of paper that seems to, again, be very, very old. And you can tell by the way it's written, it was a copy of something else, a copy of an even older document, because the handwriting, though it's in very, very ancient Elvish, very ancient Elvish, mm. is not quite 
doesn't get all the letters correct, and you can tell someone just trying to copy what Basically. this looked like without uh, knowing the meaning of the words precisely. Oh. Um, and do you speak Elvish? Yeah, and okay. Sullivan. And yeah, I'll give it to you that you'd be able to discern at least enough from older dialects because of your background. Um, it reads as you're going through it, it shows an image, a drawing of the dais in this room. Um, and a lot of the text is a little bit obscured, it's faded, and bits of the paper have kind of like just chipped away to dust over the years. <sighs> but what you can make out um, has to do with the operation of this stone circle. It doesn't say precisely what it does, but it can be used for something. And it specifies a reagent is required specifically, and this is the literal translation, it says, that blood which being of line and by right, so rosed of conquest and esteemed. Very archaic prose. Yes. Cool, I love old purple prose. Uh, <laughs> this thing does stuff, but it needs good blood to do it. What's good blood? And I repeat the phrase that has utterly slipped off my extremely smooth That means frame. absolutely nothing to me. Yeah. Sounds. I when people are doing smart stuff, I'm gonna go look around for another uh, single paw print. <laughs> Maybe just while flying in the else, lights. <laughs> like while everybody else is doing that, I just want to like look around to see if the other activity has been here other than us while all this is happening, just like in the background. Yeah, roll perception, and you also, I believe, are going for that other switch, the light switch, weren't you? Yeah, but I was mostly. I'm not gonna hit it with. Okay. Uh, b being told I'm allowed to, because I am afraid of things exploding. Sure, yeah, um, roll investigate. Oh, sorry, perception in the meantime. So I rolled um, a 21 again. Great. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> it's okay, guys. I'll get the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hit the button, the other button? Uh, Do it. Do it. I'm just asking yes or no. How close is everyone else to the other button? It's on the opposite side of the room, so probably right. not very Absolutely. close. Absolutely. Yes. Um, great. You, oh, Nilo, I don't like that girl. identify... <sighs> you don't find a paw print, but you find what looks like a disturbed bit of dust in a very remote, weird little corner of the room. A place no one has business standing. No one's there right now, but there is just like a circle of dust almost cleared out or disturbed there. I'm gonna like push on the like walls and like step on the floor to As see. As Neela is just smacking the walls, uh, curse, you <laughs> press the other button. Yep. And even though it's daylight out, you press that button and the roof above you slowly gives way and becomes translucent. And you see what looks like the night sky above you, <sighs> even though it's like 11 a.m. Um, specifically, in higher contrast, the stars and constellations that would be overhead right now at this time of day. I need to own this building. <laughs> Were you in specific? At, oh, please, sorry. sorry. I was going to say, just like, is it right for the season? Uh, roll. Why am I doing this? Roll for season. I was curious. History. We're also so far back in time that, like, literally the comp, like, I mean, yeah, they're, they're, probably the, the, they're different. They're different. Roll yeah. history or arcana, and I'll see what I can give you. No, that's a 12. I mean, they're stars. All right. Um, definitely, the, the constellations look like they are correct constellations, but you're not entirely sure what it's supposed to be right now. Gotcha. I will say that you are standing at the rack. Yeah. Um, so there are several vials, probably uh, six or seven empty vials, several of which contain a residue. Chris wanted to do something. Oh, I just wanted to ask, were you geeking out about those books out loud? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, one of those was about star, star stuff? Stars, yeah. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Does this look right? <laughs> I, I think the oh, same Oh, you try question. to like, consult the book and see if it lines up yeah. properly. Yeah, actually with the book, um, it does look like those are the current stars and constellations that are overhead. This is incredible. Uh, real quick note for everyone here, I'm going to cut my hand and try to do some blood magic really quick. If I die, as I am wont to do whenever we hang out, please bring me back. Okay. I have okay. one potion. I've got it. Also, cool. I, I don't know, I, I think that, I don't know. I'm, I keep pushing on the walls. Astrid. Turning around circles. The vials have a little bit of a red residue in the base of them, um, but they are dry, completely dried out. There's one more thing on the rack, though, as Pry bleeds herself onto the stone. <laughs> it is a piece of, uh, a sliver of yellow ore. 
some kind of yellow stone. It has a similar texture and look to like Himalayan pink salt, but it's bright yellow. Um, shaped to be uh, held, like you could grab your fingers around and there's a spike coming down from it to like put it into something. Now, on that note you found, there is also a drawing of that same sliver mm -hmm. and what looks to be an indication of like a hole in the center of the dais. I'm gonna grab the two vials and like put them in my belt that have the side parts and grab the... Dry blood. Yeah, well, maybe. Um, I don't know, I haven't tasted it yet. Oh! oh God. Mm. <laughs> and grab the, mm. the spike thing and like get kind of bring it over to pry. Ooh, like, yes, I need that. I, I also found these and I hold up the two vials on my fingers. It, they, I don't know, mm. they're dried. <laughs> oh! Okay. Um, and so you're bleeding onto the stone. Yeah. Uh, and you, you shove the spike in there. Yep. Oh my God. Um, nothing happens. <laughs> oh man, my blood sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beans. Oh, oh, beans. Are you, are Wait, you sure but what happens? Blood? Yeah, one, we show it's blood, and then like also like if we put blood on, it's bad. What? Yeah, what if it's bad? Like, what if it like sucks all your blood out or something? Yeah, what is this? Like yeah, what is this? I don't understand. You all hear a stirring. It, the shadows move, shift ever so slightly around you. The room, which is not, by the way, not brightly lit. It is illuminated, but it is still dim in here. And the shadows move almost to dodge your gaze. Ooh. I would like to illuminate them by a giant fireball in my hand. Oh my god. Let's go. I'm not firing um, it off. I am holding it. I promise I rolled for this. I'm so sorry. Oh no. Uh, Luca, oh, you please. feel a sudden crack as something hits you from the back of the head out of nowhere. Um, you are completely taken unawares. It hurts like crazy. Oh my god. How crazy? Mad. Um, <laughs> and you take... But like, how much is like... You take 16 points of bludgeoning <gasps> damage as you feel blood dripping from the back of your scalp. You, you dead? Oi! Not dead. Great, I firebolt whatever just did that. But as far as you can tell, there's no one there. It was what? Shadows? Okay, get as much light as going as possible. Uh, any useful spells um, for this uh, right now. Get away yeah. from the walls. I'm gonna Actually, back up towards um, the dais. You all hear a voice as you back towards the stone, uh, Astrid. Although you can't pin the voice down to any one location, it feels like it's coming from everywhere. And it says, <clears throat> Callers come snooping for their master. The little obedient servants didn't know what was waiting to kill them with sticks. We really keep getting mistaken for collars, and I feel like with at least the outfit I'm wearing, that's very silly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty ridiculous. Definitely not collars. Yeah, come on, mate. It's, don't hit us with sticks, we're I, not collars. On. This is deception. It's really Oris not. Oris teaches you how to lie and cheat and betray. I promise I rolled for this. I'm so sorry, but it's very funny. Curse. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you feel a crack on the back of your head as you also take... Bloody hell. Okay, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. And that's all? That's all. All right, uh, great. people with sticks. Can I... Uh, do you have Can I have a reaction? I do have a hellish rebuke. Yeah, do you want to use it? I absolutely <gasps> want a hellish rebuke. Let's go! Yes, yes you can absolutely do, do, do it. Do you have to see them, or, or is it... Does it just happen? I don't will know you, if you do. do will you, have you light them, them up so we can see them? Um, it does say you put your finger at the creature that damaged you, and the creature that damaged you... You point your finger, and the creature that damaged you is momentarily surrounded in hellish flames. Interesting. But it doesn't say you have to see it. It says you it point your does finger. not. And it says the creature. It doesn't so say a, okay. you point your finger at the creature. I'm it say says this. you point your finger and the creature. Yes, I will <laughs> say this. Because it's fun. Because your finger does have to point to the creature. I just want... I just want... Listen, I'm going to let you have your thing. But we're going to have some fun with it. Okay. Oh, no. um, fun for me. <laughs> um, I'm going to have you roll a perception check. Okay. No... Advantage or disadvantage, flat perception. Let's okay. just see what happens. Cool, because all of the blood is falling out of my body. Yeah, <laughs> same. Oh no! It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Six. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's probably because of all the blood falling out of my body. Yes, uh, I am ninety percent oh. dead. What can you do with a six? <laughs> I'll say you wheel around 
and point your finger in the best spot you figure that they're coming at you from, okay. uh, as best you can discern. And fire does erupt, and you see a form, a silhouette, step out of the way, but still get singed a bit on the way out. But the shape of the individual, the humanoid, is illuminated for a moment. Does it take any of the damage? Is it, it a one-legged will. Roll tabaxi? It. All right. That's what I need to It know. is a tabaxi. Is it a one-legged tabaxi? It is a two-legged tabaxi. God oh. damn it, my brother, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Not all your perfolk or kinfolk. Wow. Yeah. That okay. is. Monkey paws. Yeah. 3D tens. That is 20 points of damage. Okay, so we're going to cut wow. that down a little bit. Yeah, so the fire. And you see this form jump back and use what's. You might call it a quarter staff. It's far too long and the shape is a bit irregular for that. Launches off of it and almost goes like up. Oh. Out of vision. I understand <clears throat> the one pop right now. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Wait. Out of vision up? Yes, and then uh, at that point you lose it. We don't want to get crumpled. We're not callers. Look, if you're gonna hit anybody with a stick, hit me with a stick. Come on. I prefer you don't hit anybody with a stick. Hates hates us. You want to hit people have... with sticks? Come hit me with a we've, stick. We've killed a bunch of callers. I shouldn't say. Anything. What are you here for? Let's have a conversation. I'm gonna drop darkness on the room. Ooh. Now no one gets to see. Ooh. What reason, a lot of what reason would you have to be here if you are not from him? We heard that there might be something important here that can help against, with the fight against him. We were trying to beat Bleeding in the dark. <laughs> the, beat the callers here. We've, we've killed so many callers, mate. We killed a whole, um, what, what's it called, Lieutenant. You have beaten many callers. Yes. What did you use? This. <sighs> it's dark, I you can't see it. I cannot see it. See <laughs> <laughs> well, you but like, I'm gonna like fire. tap it against the stone, like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and then you hear out from the dark, you hear, oh, oh shit, as Dia calls, I was like, oh no, it's desk, desk, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Damn, shut up. Shut up. Just, what? Look, it's just, I'm, it's very dark. Can I follow her voice? Yeah. I'm going to try and find her and be like, shh, shh, shh. And I'm just going to grab her arm. And then she wheels around with a dagger. <laughs> and it's like <laughs> so close. <laughs> just fuck. Can you do that to me? Bloody breath. Come, okay. let me negotiate with the. Breathe. Our new friend, probably. Yes. I will treat with you. Ah. It is too dark for me to see. Yeah, that's the point. Can, okay, look, I'm putting my axe up. <sighs> Still can't see it, but. <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna like, like you can hear me put that away. Um, if you remove the darkness, I will not beat you with sticks. Oh, that's nice. Can you I believe you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I want to definitely do that. Mm -mm. I rolled threes. <laughs> Remember, I have three rolls. Uh, yeah, I, got okay. I, got a, I got a five, so I believe that what you I, are, I trust them. I think we should just drop it. What you are able to now discern as a female Tabaxi's voice um, does seem to be authentic. Look, <clears throat> she's, be, she's been beating the shit out of collars. Like, this is clearly our kind of person. Love it. Okay. I'd love to be able to see. Sweet, I'll drop darkness. And you actually see her standing in the middle of all of you as hey. you drop the darkness. And you're like? confronted by a gray torty tabaxi, dressed lightly in linen bindings and cloth, mostly just covering the essentials and allowing for very able movement um, as the priority, with what looks like a startlingly black scarf around her neck and trailing down, uh, bundling her face up to the eyes, which are stark emerald green. Ooh. Cool. That's a hell of a stick. Oh, it's yes. A stick. And you do, she shows you the stick, which she's quite proud of, apparently. And it looks like it's roughly the size of a quarter staff, at least in the wooden portion. But at the ends, the wood almost curves out like this, and it's capped with metal on either end. Ooh. And appears to segment in the center, like it can be undone. 
Gee, that hurt. I am sorry for the damage you have incurred. I assumed you were a threat when you approached. Can you try your blood? <laughs> okay. I guess, yeah, we can do just not do not waste. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing here, mate? Waste. I drip my blood. It uh, did not do anything. Oh. Weird. Um, <laughs> what are you doing here? My name is Swift in the Black. I have a name. Whoa. <laughs> 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 I guess I was right. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. And that ringtone will be available on our... <laughs> 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 My name <clears throat> is Swift in the Black. I have made a vow to kill Oris with sticks and to destroy any servants of his who would stand in my way. That's great. But why, why are you here? I understood that there were callers who were interested in this tower. Mm. So I have come here to kill them. Who told you that there were callers interested in this tower? A caller that I killed. Ah. Incredible. Damn, she's pretty badass. <laughs> I'm, yeah, very <laughs> impressive. Guys are a little unfocused. You uh. alright? What? Okay. Oh, we need to we, I'm yeah. good. What about I'm your good. Blood? He got. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Also, blood no, 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 no. You actually, you're too. actively bleeding. You definitely need to get oh. some. Yeah, some we can. We, we'll use some of the. We'll use some okay. of the, all the blood. You take back seven. <sighs> put my take back hand. Six down on the thing. Oh. What? What? What are you doing? And you see as your healing curse, yeah. Swift is actively like taking part of her clothing to like bandage her head. Oh, uh, that's, nice. that's nice. Oh. Hey, oh, you're all right. No, uh, you might still want to do that just to be safe. Oh. To hold no. yeah. Okay, we have, no, just keep your clothes on. No, please. Uh, well, it's cool. It's already it's really, very, it's very it's cool. Yeah, yeah. just a quiet thing. It's very nice. Do, do you Seven. need it? No. no. Okay. Seven. 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 Thank you. Um, <laughs> Swift, just put your clothes back, back on. Six. Okay. Thank you. Keep your clothes on. Thank you. All right, so we're bleeding on the floor. We're talking to a new friend. What the, what's going on? Like, what are we trying to do here? So what's happening? Yeah, really quick, yeah, uh, Swift, uh, when you came here, were there any um, uh, magical items or traps or anything that you ran into? Or did you find any uh, difficulty in occupying the tower until the callers came? The uh, callers were here when I arrived. They were not difficult to dispatch. Not with the, uh, s someone of your talent, obviously. Yeah, um, made of them. It, was it has been some time since I have met another Tabaxi in the West. Oh. <laughs> I have spent so much time in Suncrest. Yeah. I have missed connecting with our people. Oh, uh, well, it's good to see you too. So, um... And Luca, you also actually now, like, getting a good look at her, and also from her moves, recognize her as someone who seems to have trained in similar disciplines to you. <clears throat> That's cool. Um, so did, did you learn how to fight here? Are you? Yes. Very interesting. I trained as a monk in Tayo. I studied <sighs> under the Sikyu in the tradition of Sajdori. Get out of Tayo. Me too. I did. That's why I am here. <laughs> very, she strikes uh, me as a real literal. Very kind of funny. <laughs> very funny. Um, so you just came when the callers were here. A caller told me more callers were here. Yeah. I was hoping these callers would tell me where more callers were. Did they? they did not. Oh. Did they tell you why they came here to begin with? Mm, I did not think to ask that. That's... <laughs> Fair. But that is a good question now that I consider it. This tower was important to them for some reason, but I do not know what it is. Interesting. And uh, all the callers have been at, uh, dealt with that have occupied the tower? As far as I know, I have been through this place multiple times, though I hid when you approached because I thought you were more callers who I would have to kill with sticks. Okay, I feel like we're fully caught up now. Love it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool, yeah, right? Quick. Huh? I've lost interest in this. I'm like, can you come bleed, your hair? bleed really I don't hard? really want to. Please. Do I Do Whoa. I need to bleed? I just immediately got my hand because <laughs> Bryce said bleed. So, well, don't get <laughs> Are you on a quest <laughs> to kill Oris as well? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Actually. Yes. Then we will travel together. 
This oh, sounds great. like if a good cooperative. All right. That sounds great, Tulip. Sure. Yeah. 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 So um, apparently we're all bleeding on the floor at the moment. Oh, um, right. On which is note, uh -huh. I already bled everywhere. That's um, true. So I'll say, okay, let's get a clear, a clear view of all this. <laughs> How many people have intentionally bled on the dais so far? Intentionally? Um, Didn't you reach out? Yeah, yeah Luca you did. told me reach to. Out and touch stone. Yeah, yeah um, I was just bleeding and Luca was like, why yeah. don't you? So I put my hand like just kind of like from the back of my head. <sighs> Interesting. Okay. Oh, um, oh no. Everyone sans you two are bleeding on the dais at various points in time. I have, yeah. The blood is pooling and filling the cracks and the What's Dia doing? lines in between uh, the various symbols. Dia is here as well. Um, she is not bleeding on the dais, um, but she's watching you all like cutting yourselves up and bleeding on the dais, and is like, and also still like she's kind of marveling at Swift, like just I. It's it's more of like a oh, she's so cool yeah. kind of a thing. So cool. Cool. Very cool, Love but. Hot as you're yeah, all very sketchy, but like in a cool way. Letting a bit of blood out onto the dais, you get the feeling of something more in the tower. The ground reverberates. Oh no. Just so yes. beneath yes. your feet. Good. And you hear people on the floor below. Until you don't. What? You realize that the sound, the feeling, slowly drains from the room around you. You can't hear the distant rustle of trees or your boots scraping on the stone. You feel empty and hollow. What do you do? Is this can one we, of those portal things? We can still see each other? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna like, almost as we've kind of continued to do, like back to back here. Yeah, I'll pull yeah. out my dagger. I'll do the same one, get an ultra spouse ready. You know they must have made noise. You heard them make noise, and yet the world is silent. Eight callers crest the landing in a row, but you know that's not all. This feeling of dread, of empty terror, behind them, stepping with a casual grace up the stairs, is the Lieutenant Kifo. He gives off a subtle, purplish, iridescent aura, glitchy and maddening, that seems to tease the edges of your mind, probing for weaknesses. His face is all but covered in hood, cowl, and collar goggles, but being this close now, you can make out he appears to be a drow. What is your first instinct, as before even Kifo approaches, eight callers are streaming into the room towards you and charging? I'm gonna grab Dia and pull her back. You're pulling Dia back. Yeah. Um, okay, great. I Firebolt. Fly into a frenzied rage. Let's roll an initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone response. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's a nat 20 on initiative. Wow. Nice. Oh. I'll count it. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Dazzle, what is your dex save? Oh, your uh, dex, sorry, dex modifier. I have a plus two. Okay. You're looking for an issue? Yeah. Wait, that's uh, a dazzle curse. Fuck, curse. Oh, okay. So, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say fuck, curse. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, first of all. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Um, we made it this far and you haven't. It? It's, yeah, it's only the finale. You so wait, great. so Neela gets a diamond now, right? Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's too Why much. I lost too much blood. <laughs> um, great, so. Bye, uh, you too, everyone. So it's a, this, a reference to months Such ago. Such an ancient that reference. So nice. So so good. Good. Not anything anymore. Yeah, that was like several years ago. We pulled it out of Listen, sweetheart, if we can let these down. Oh my god, I hate this. We'll use it! You guys, we gotta focus. No! Okay. I think all of this is Then fine. I can turn spell. Um, okay, great. So, curse is first. Um, can I get 20 through 25? 21. 21. Wow. I mean, that's your job, man. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> and then 15 through 20. 18. 18. Oh. oh, okay. So we got a jibe. And then we got a Astrid. Astrid. A Astrid. And then 10 through that's 15. 12. Neela. How you doing over there, Pry? And then what'd you get, Pry? <laughs> Nine. Nice, okay. You be doing good today. <laughs> what did you get? Uh, Look, we oh, boarding yeah. bonded and all my dice rolls got oh. real yucky. <laughs> Take uh, it off! Dia goes right after Astrid. Nah. 
Um, great. So, Curse, you are the first up. Um, what do you do as you see them all crest the landing? And there's a lot of them. Uh, describe to me what they're wearing, holding, etc. Uh... The collars in front of Kifo all appear to be dressed more similarly to Cal than to the rank and file. Okay. They have the same insignia on their shoulders that you'd expect of a captain, all of them. Um, they still wield the same batons, um, are dressed in a very similar way, and do not stand out in any other way. Those are you know why like she's asking. batons, right? Yeah. Metal? <laughs> yeah. Probably not surging through wood, I would assume. Yeah, those are those are metal. Yeah, for sure. Heat metal. On whom? To all of them? <laughs> uh, I cannot cast it on all of them. Uh, heat metal is one at a time. Um, Just like the one in the front? Yeah. Okay, great. I'd say one is certainly more threatening to you and coming up on you real hard. Um, perfect. Um, <clears throat> so the thing about heat metal is, I don't have to roll for it. I don't have to do anything. Uh, it takes two d8s of fire damage and uh, we'll keep taking it unless it drops it. Uh, drops its weapon. Great, yeah. Um, he is going to tank the damage. Okay, so that's seven points of fire damage. And you're actually noticing um, the sizzling as his fingers seem to be fusing to the baton and he's not letting it go. Oh Great, Yikes. bonus action. Uh, I reach into my uh, little bag of rocks that I keep satcheled around my waist. Yeah. Uh, and then when, while he's holding on to it, I just I one right this. at his eye. Uh, great, roll it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a Ooh. 23 to hit. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where is a d6? Where do I, why do I not have like any d6s here? Uh, two more points of damage of rock okay. to eye. Okay, great, that was a total of... That was seven plus seven nine. Seven two, okay, great. Uh, yeah, uh, you definitely get the eye, I mean, he's wearing goggles, of course. Yeah. Um, but you Cracking got, glasses. Um, which yeah, it does have a little, like, a little hairline fracture in the goggle mm -hmm. there. You can get a next um, one. However, after you go, uh, the the collars go next. Look, thankfully it's not Kifo. Um, cool. The collars go collectively after that, and the front one, uh, the front, I'll say the front three, all are going to go for you, um, as you seem like the biggest threat right now. Throw um. a pebble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, She's got rocks. I, <laughs> heated a man's She's weapon. She's got rocks. What happened to the other? I had two die before. I microwaved a weapon and threw a pebble. I disagree. Um, <laughs> Where are all so far, of us she's in this the room. Are we near the? Wait, yo, how are you standing? Okay. I'm kind of curious. About uh, great. Because I want to know if I'm within five feet of this. Your what's your AC? Thirteen. Oh no. Oh buddy. <laughs> I thought fewer of these attacks hit. Uh, oh no. Okay. Uh, great. Yeah. Um. There's also going to be, roll a deck save for me. Shit, okay. That's a nat 20. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, okay, I mean, you'll land on your feet. <laughs> um, if she's a Which, acrobat. I mean, to be fair, acrobat. Yeah, so here's what happens. All three callers approach you, all three will land their attacks with the batons. Um, cracking against thigh and arm and just each going to town with a little zappy zap on the side there. Mm -hmm. um, dealing a total of... Yeah. You got very lucky with those rolls. I don't know if I did. I didn't have a lot of hit points to start. Oh no. Um, you're okay, taking a total swift. of... Oh yeah, Swift, fuck me. Yeah, let's, what is what's yeah, Swift? Yeah, okay. Swift She's got stuff to hit. She with does. Dicks. And with she's ready, dicks. she's ready. She rolled low. Um, oh, great. <laughs> you're taking a total of, I'm trying to do the math here in my head real fast, that is a f 13 points of damage. That is exactly how many hit points uh, I no. have. No! And the final, now you got a deck save, so I mean, you're unconscious, but you stick it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, what was the point of that? <laughs> so, I'll actually say... Not 20 deck save. This is so interesting. Okay, here we go, ready for this? So. You take exactly 13 points of damage. <laughs> the final caller walks up as you're taking these hits, which are scoring you enough to also draw blood, um, and kicks you in the chest, um, sending you back into the room onto the dais. I'd say because you got that nat 20 on the deck save, you have enough awareness left to like not land in a pain heap. You can land with a bit of control before you're going to collapse. Is there anything you'd like to do in that moment? Um, where, what, I was kicked onto like the dais thing? Yeah. Is anything happening with it? 
Oh yeah. Most what you're seeing, well. and this is true for all of you, you're seeing the blood variously pool and gather around. It seems to be moving, but not doing a lot at the moment. At least magical, as far as you can tell. But the blood's in motion. Weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. I'm just going to uh, go do my best blood. to block and cover as much of it with my body as possible mm-hmm. um, so that the callers cannot see that something is happening with it at all. Okay. Um, so it's a big day, but yeah, let me just I'm just start this out. <laughs> <laughs> do my best to cover at least like the center point of it where we were like pouring our blood in and things like that. Like I'm going to do my very best to like And you're already bleeding a little bit, so you can it. like you can like fill it up a little bit more. For sure. <sighs> so yeah. it just needs a lot of blood. Yeah, you get, I got it. You <laughs> get we go. kicked back. Well, you get kicked back sure onto know. the dais <laughs> and land kush, as you collapse we'll onto it. it and you are still well, I mean you are now very sure, certainly actively bleeding. And as the turn rolls over, the rest of you notice as blood is coming out of Curse and starting to fill more of the cracks of the dais. And you actually see a little pulse come from the stone circle. Did I see any of it as I'm going unconscious? Did I see that something's happening? Maybe a little flicker. I feel it. <laughs> um, as it begins to I flicker, <laughs> and the the key of sorts is still now like loosely hanging in that hole, unless you chose to take it out. Um, it I rolls it down to Luca. Man, yeah. What's up, buddy? I do not know. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to. Uh, People that that beat up curse. Yeah, the three. In the front, I'm, yeah, right? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get in, to, in front of all three of them, and I'm going to use my bonus action first and use flurry of blows to try to get the one person that took the the heat damage. Okay. Yeah. And attack that guy. Roll them all up. Why am I doing that? Roll all your monk business. What was? <laughs> I won't even question it. I won't even question a nat twenty. That was a nat Hell twenty. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Raw them double dice. Oh, baby, a baby, baby. Um, <laughs> that sounded right. Well, that was for the first one. Okay. Before you blow this. So, that 20 and <laughs> the first one misses. So, that is um, two, four, seven damage. And okay. Then um, <clears throat> I'm going to use my main action to take the dodge action in front of them. Okay. And just kind of like. Hold my arms out and just like not let them try. Try my best not to let them like try to pass me and like try to hold them off so for as long as I can. Instead of dodging, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I dig it. Yeah, the block sure. action. <laughs> I mean, you can definitely like try and like juke around to like draw their fire. Yeah, but I'm just not, gonna like, get hit. make myself big so that like I become the focus. I hear but, you. Like when they come poof, after me, just like, like the dodge. thing birds do when they're cold. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> great. Tuck the little head in. <laughs> uh, none of those uh, colors were within five feet of me, were they? They knocked the knocked uh, curse out. You can be nearby if you if you would have been nearby. I'll Question give it to you. I'm, I don't know how big the room is, quite honestly. So like, I think I was. Do you want to do a thing? I want to do sentinel, but do I don't want to. All right. No, oh, that's sorry. My dice tray is so full. Uh, fifteen. Uh, yeah, that will hit. Yes, the collar that will hit. All right. Okay, well that one at least hit a, a number. That's not great though. Uh, seven slashing, and they can't take movement until after mine. And this is the same one in front, right? It's the, whichever one you, I'm allowed to be within five feet of. I'll say it's the same one that everyone's been pummeling on. Right. Um, and as you hit them, they do appear to go down, uh, collapsing at your feet. Um, perhaps not dead, but they do seem to be out of the fight at least. Well, that's enough. Uh, I will say though on that, um, that again, you see the the dais pulsing, the dais pulsing, and it seems to like it be revved up, so to speak. There's some power latent in it that is ready to go. Um, Kifo is going to take a legendary action. No, uh, dang it! No. Uh, Extremely rude. <clears throat> uh, and you can tell. I'll. You know what? I'll pass on this. You can't tell. 
Um, that's fair. Does anybody have a passive perception or insight above a sixteen or above? <laughs> sixteen. We're level three. I know what you are. So what do you think? I'm just checking. I, you know, I'm just, you know, it's, a, I'm just okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Kifo uh, raises a hand, and there's just such a dispassion, such a coldness to it. He raises his hand like this, and looks down from and just goes with his hand, and all of you feel, it's like the most intense G-forces you've ever felt, Ugh. as it feels like your insides are being dragged out of you, uh, from the inside out. All of you roll a constitution saving throw. I'm not good at that. I don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, 20. Right? Yeah. 17. Mm-hmm. Uh, 15. Okay. 18. Okay. Six. <laughs> oh god. Uh, that was fifteen yeah. and six. You two will take full damage. Mm. Um, the rest of you take oh, half. No. What is the full? Yours is half. Full damage. No, I know. <sighs> but then both the healers are down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have one potion. Uh, Get her. <laughs> the full damage on that is going to be twenty-one points of damage. Halved is ten. I'm down. I have one. And the dais pulses still. All right. And now 20, you probably didn't take anything. Uh, you take half, that's 10. Oh. Great. Thanks. And I will say, you get, I'll give you this, those of you who took full damage, uh-huh. you get a feel like Kifo is just toying around. Oh yeah, big time. You know what the fun part is? I was fairly close to doubling the damage required to fully kill me in one oh. I know, I know, I know. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. I d- How this close? is why we say warding bond. You sure? Yeah. How close would you cry to the. She's the on the day. Uh, okay. That is jibe. Um, I bounce back in front of uh, Curse's body and, like, guard it as much as I possibly can, mm-hmm. yank out my short bow, and I'm going to ready an action. And I turn to Astrid. If we can get Bry back up. There is a bit of glass that she is carrying that I would not mind firing at these fucking assholes. <gasps> I hope y'all are out of this room when that goes on. <laughs> that, ooh, ooh. No! That will take us all out. The room is too small for that. But I will get her back up. Okay. I'm gonna just I'm gonna keep my action readied in case they come closer to attack at the dais. Is Dia up? Dia is up, yeah. Okay. And she is going soon. Uh, great, you're readying your action. Yep. Okay, great. Uh, Asher, that comes down to you. The di- the dais is fully glowing. Is the key fully in? Sorry, I don't know if I understand. Now, Pry, before you went down, did you remove the key or leave it like loosely in as you were testing things? <laughs> you really want to know? I really want to know. Uh. In that moment before she lost consciousness, uh, her priority in- entirely shifted to leaving the key in and interacting with the dais when, it, when her turn came. So I'd say you guys saw Pry was going for the dais and with the key in hand to do something with it as she was felled. Oh, you had the key in your hand? I thought it was in the dais. No, yeah. it was already in it. In the yeah. dais. Okay. And both she's, are acceptable pronunciations. They are! I yeah. just, I picked yeah. mine. Yeah. Yeah. Both, <laughs> I looked it up, both are totally fine. Yeah. Is everybody on it? I don't think I am. <laughs> I think we're both just like, bleh, on it. Do what you need yeah. to do on your turn. I'm there. Yeah, you're there. Mm-hmm. I will say the stakes have never been higher right now. I know, I'm... I can't believe I'm Who here. is not on it? That's what, you're not. I think you and I aren't on it. Mm-hmm. I don't know where... where uh, if you want to pull some shit, people will have an opportunity to react. Okay, I'm going to... Seeing what Pry was doing, I'm going to go for the key. Okay. I'm going to go for the key. And I'm going to use my full action. Question. Since it's only a... I only have a tonic, can I give it to Pry and do an action? Not with her being down. If you think if you think the if yeah. you think the magic's all the thing, go 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 go. Do it, yeah. do it. I'm, I'm just gonna, supposed to do. I'm just gonna 
press and see if I can turn it or shift it in some way. What I say you will be able to do is this, is this will not all happen in the same six seconds necessarily, but you can trigger the key and then try and get hold of Pry's body and stuff something in her mouth, but it may take time to get something in there. Yeah, I want to I wanna do Listen. that. I want to... No, I'm saying mine was a selfish action, so I'm glad you guys all thought that it was like a noble thing. I'm like, no, she was being a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the smart one. Yeah. So, so you, do you get the key <laughs> yeah, in there? Yeah, I'm going to definitely do that. Uh, beautiful. You stab the key in, and those of you who are not on the dais, you see Astrid trigger it, and the dais flashes. You have a chance to do something. What do you choose to do? Uh, where's Swift? Where's Dia? Uh, Swift is in the air with her staff, like, ready to go, and it's like slow motion, uh, just in motion. That does not realize what the dais is cool. about. Dia is right nearby where Astrid and Pry are. Uh, can I just yell out, get to the shiny thing, and see, like, if, as I'm, like, dashing over, can I, like, hook Swift, like, out of the air and just bring them? Like tackle. Ooh. Just essentially just, like, bring somebody down with me and hope that, yes. that Luca and Dia can make it themselves. Who else is not on the dais right now? You are not... You're very there. Yeah, both of you I'm are there. there. I'm protecting. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're I'm great. Awesome. It's just the it's it's oh, just the two there. of us and and Dia and Swift. I think. Roll a dexterity save. Okay. Luca, same. Okay. To be able to try and get there fast enough. Come on. Oh my goodness, it's what I do. It's what. Oh, don't jinx it. Yeah, man. It's what I do with the nat twenty. Dirty twenty. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. so many nat twenty five. I got three nat twenty five. I've like, seen all yeah. of them right here. I have like a window. It's wild. <laughs> um, yeah, so absolutely. Uh, Swift has like her staff like overhead and is like flying through the air waiting for her like, turn. I just want to like the other end of the staff and like with maybe even with my axe half to just like bring oh, us both on the And just what? <laughs> and gets yeah. yanked backwards. <laughs> Sorry, I'll um, explain in a second. Good stick. Great stick. And Luca, you as well have a chance to, you can monk it up and you're able to like jump over and get onto the dais and. 100%. You Please tell me that Dia listened to me for the first time in her goddamn life. She was already in motion. She was already on there. Good. Especially like once she saw, because Ash had pulled her back to like yeah. near the side of the dais. Once she saw Pry go down and Ash go for the key, she also started like getting in there. Like, oh, okay. Uh, and yes, you trigger the dais. You are all violently jolted away from this place. As your vision blurs and tears, what? you see Kifo pick something up from the desk, one of the desks, uh, sort of like behind and tucked away, adjacent to the wall, um, along a flat box of sorts, and tucks it under his arm as your vision is torn away from this place. Your bodies are torn and ripped and shredded into a thousand divisions, uh, directions divided, reassembled, and in what feels like a high-speed crash that turns your stomachs out, you come to a stop. However, you realize you have not stopped somewhere open. Your yeah. entire bodies are surrounded by dirt and earth, and you've materialized inside of the ground. Oh, okay. You are buried alive. This is the most traumatic mm -mm. episode of Buffy. Mm -mm. <laughs> what do you do? You continue to die. I'm still, <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm still oh, so raging. I'll actually say, you are going to materialize in Astrid's arms, and she is like getting something into your mouth which is now gonna start taking effect, and you're gonna come back with, if oh, you wanna no. roll it, one tonic of HP. I'm so sorry. Oh god, you're coming back to consciousness <laughs> buried alive. That, That's is so that the first time this has happened to you? you I wouldn't know. I am uh, still frenzied raging, so I am just using every ounce of my strength to dig up and hope that's the correct direction. Spit first. Uh, roll strength. Seven points. Back up. <coughs> uh, strength is 19. Yeah, um, you're actually able to tunnel upward a bit, and you realize you only have to clear about maybe three feet of earth above you before you see daylight start to break, and you're able to break the surface of the earth. Okay. I want an Eldritch Blast up. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's a freebie. So next to you, Neil, like, I, like right between your legs as you get up, just <laughs> through the earth, <laughs> um, and a hand 
I'll grab it. Yeah. I'm just gonna tell uh, yeah, I'll them start. Yeah, I'll start just grabbing people oh. and pulling them up. Uh, mm. I need to reach out for curse and grab her hand and let's get it. Let's get it. Cure wounds in there. Let's Ooh. go level two. I am like holding on to curse because we were like yeah. teleported like right near each other and so like I'm clinging and like I think Jive's very not okay right now and uh, it's like freaking out. Then I'll reach and I'll grab both of your hands and I just give you a squeeze and nod. And then I squeeze your hand and cast kill. Yeah. I would love to just barrel of monkeys, just like as as the through. as the healing spells are happening, just be like pulling people out <laughs> as they're connected and hanging on to each other. And as keep... that's as you're doing that, uh, really quickly, just jive to because I feel like uh, this has been a similar scrape that Jive's gotten into before. Takes out his dagger and just chips away at what is either the ceiling or the floor where they're mm -hmm. buried and watches how the dirt falls, which is how you can check which yeah. way is up when you're buried alive. That's what yeah, I said, cool. you spit. Yeah. And you, <laughs> oh. you dig the opposite way, you, yeah, <laughs> spit falls. <laughs> and then, yeah, pull up. Are you okay? Are we out of the ground? <laughs> no, we're still in it, and it's fucked. Yeah, I'm pulling it. No, pulling I'm not taking it. Yeah, 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 I've, I've been pulling people out. Jive is like trying to pull you up, and then Neela just. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm still frenzy raging, so every every strength is is at advantage. So I'm just like yoink. Uh, what happened today? Keep okay, are you all right? It, are you all right? Uh, I don't know. I'm so I don't know. fucking tired of what? dying. <laughs> Can uh, we renegotiate shut up. that very no, nice thing you did for me? Give me a hand. It's okay. It's I have okay. a very strong feeling that regardless of our bond, I would have been felled by that. So it didn't matter if it was able to keep you from getting too hurt. It was fine. You know how you get mad every time people ask for healing? Uh-huh. It's just uh, like that uh, in this okay, way. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. I got it. Thank yeah. you. Fair enough. Fair enough. <sighs> Okay. Thank the you. earth has given away above you, and daylight shines down. You realize that beneath you, you appeared over another one of those stone dais, but one that had been buried under many feet of ground, perhaps by time or intentionally, who knows. All of you emerge together, including Dia and Swift in the Black, who are popping out just Romero style from the earth and yeah. dusting themselves off. The, um, they shake off dirt to remove it from eyes and ears and everywhere, true for all of you as well. And around you is a plain. Gentle low hills dot the landscape and grasses sway in the breeze. There's what appears to be a road um, not far from where you are now, just down this little slope. Even more distant on the far horizon, what looks to be evidence of a city. And similarly to the south, what appears to be a dense jungle or forest just visible at the limit of your vision. Wow, aren't we? This, that, like, kind of scoping the terrain, uh, do those, like, trigger anything? I right, so roll me a, um, what, what's the most geographically inclined skill? Not perfect. Not you rolled the map. The map. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Wow. It was worse. I'm so tired of dice. What do you want? It was a seven on the die. It doesn't matter what. You wake uh, up in strange places. All your the history time. is like a plus four, right? Yeah. Be like eleven. I mean, it's also not hard to say that this terrain is more notable in the Commonwealth, mm -hmm. and jungle and forest isn't. So it's possible you are closer to the border with Kessar S, oh. which is very far away from where you just were. Wow. Okay. Wow. I start kicking dirt back in in case they're going to follow us. Yeah, I'll oh, start yes, uh, yeah. pushing. Although maybe they don't have special blood. Should we talk about special blood? Maybe we can wait to talk Let's about special blood, blood in a second. Um, what happened? Uh, uh, right, yeah. Listen, they came in, they, uh, they ran in, you attacked, they instantly attacked you. They kicked you onto the dais and you bled into it and then the entire stone starts to vibrate because of the blood. And then we all kind of jumped in. Uh, I mean, there was a, a a big attack on all of us, which is how you got knocked down. Oh, uh, the the lieutenant. Uh, what's his name? Fell. Yeah. And and then uh, Astrid, you activated the key or something like I, that. I don't. I didn't know. I just I saw you using it or touching it, and you're honestly the smartest. So it was a very selfless action that you were doing. Yeah. Bri. Thanks, Bri. I... Where the fuck are we? <laughs> This is, this is the, this is... Yeah, Wait, do you know where we are? I think this is the Commonwealth. 
But we're close to Casa Reyes. That's, 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 that's Did we take like a whole boat and other things to like travel this kind of a distance? This is weeks south of where we are at least. Yeah. What kind of magic does that? I am disappointed we had to leave the fight. Swift, two people died. I appreciate your assistance in extricating me, but still, I would have liked to exact revenge. Uh, he still will, don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. sorry, sorry about the like quick tackle, I just thought. It is okay. Yeah. You were smart to realize I would never let go of my stick. <laughs> as, a, as someone who would never let go of her axe, Let's, I see uh, you. Uh, let's head into town and see if we can get some sorts of supplies, replenish, rest a little bit, just figure out what's going on. So I'll say, as you say that, you are also very cognizant of the fact you no longer have horses. Um, and the closest yes. city is literally, like, beyond the horizon. Oh! Maybe we I make camp. Closer. However, is, yeah. oh. as you begin to, like, peep around this slope, um, you notice that just off the road below you, and just literally, it's a tiny little hill, it's a little, a little guy. Um, coming into view now, as you're exploring a little bit, is a camp. There are five people, dressed loosely in cotton and furs, with layered studded armor propped up beside them. Uh, they're sitting around a fire with a cooking pot, and what looks to be like a couple of skinned rabbits inside, along with various other ingredients. Um, one of the people is grinding tack with a mortar, and another is portioning out some hard cheese. Uh, they just seem to be camping. At least our horses will find us. Yeah. yeah It'll just take exactly. them a minute. Yeah. Should we, if, <laughs> if we, uh, if these people look vaguely harmless, maybe we clean ourselves up real fast so that we don't look like we're um, going to kill them. And yeah. That sounds good. And then let's even just get some rest or something like that for a second, get some water. That sounds very yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, I just don't want to show up covered in dirt and blood. Or maybe they'll great. be down for it. I don't know. Great. I mean, do you clean up a little bit and? Yeah. Um, if anybody wants press a digitation, I that would be yeah, great. I, I will start yeah. slowly, yeah. like it. cleaning everybody up, and I feel like there's dirt in my lungs. I can you press and digitate that? No. And I actually, I try. I try and see what I can do with it, like. See if she helps her cough up. I don't know. I mean, I I'd it. say it would. <laughs> it's enough to get the effort going. And with a bit of work, yeah, you can start <laughs> hacking it up. Yeah. Um, the group does spot you at the bottom of the hill and stands having a look at you before uh, giving you a, a little wave over like, Hello. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, the one closest to you now as you descend, yeah. um, dark complexioned and lean with tight curly black hair, uh, smiles and like gestures you over. Uh, friends, what are you doing stumbling in from the plane? Uh, there's nothing down that way but the regions. Yeah, <laughs> tell us about it. Uh, yeah, really a uh, long story. Can we just like rest for a minute by the fire? Is that all right with you? By all means, yeah, take a seat. We are just uh, preparing some stew, so you're welcome to join us if you'd like. What time of day is it? Uh, it is about noon. Okay, so it okay. hasn't tamed you. Uh, thank you very Thanks. much. Um, another one of the group, a shorter human woman, pulls a hood back to reveal black hair and a notably sunburned face. Um, uh, oh, sure, yeah, let me make some room. Um, I will uh, start portioning things out for you if you'd like. Um, Happy and to contribute um, yeah. beverages if anyone would like a dr drink. Drink. I'll give you money. <laughs> Ooh. Um, another human, as you mentioned that, the another human man, portly and tall, with long sandy hair tied up in a bun, uh, looks at your uh, your your flag in there. Yeah, that would uh, that would be quite welcome right now. Actually, our ale rations ran dry last night, so we would not mind a little bit of. Uh, hospitality from you and we will give in return. Oh yeah, uh, help yourself. Oh, thank you. And grabs his flask and starts just like filling up on whatever you've got, uh, bit by bit. It doesn't uh. stop. What <laughs> uh, brings you all out this way? <laughs> Stupid magic. <sighs> just lay down. <laughs> We're still trying to puzzle that out a bit, honestly, so. Uh. 
We don't really know. It's been a it's it's been a bit of a day. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Well, we will accommodate you however we can. If you're looking for uh, more medicine or uh, better uh, aid than we can provide, I'm afraid we don't have much in camp when we're just out on patrol like this. But um, by all means, rest, take your time. There's no rush. Mm -hmm. There are uh, other places you could go, though, if you do need more assistance, I suppose. That's, you know, that's, that's definitely a... It's Sorry, it's so rude. Um, patrol. Yeah, uh, what's Question your name? Mark. You're on patrol from where? I am Kovac. Uh, we are with the... Do you know where you are? Really, what well, we really. say? Co the Commonwealth, right? Yes, you are in the Commonwealth. North of here is Anishta, and just south is the border with KSRS. Uh -huh. And this path here goes east to the lighthouse where that old map maker lives. Old map maker, huh? And uh, the other woman, an olive skinned half elven, a uh, woman with maroon hair, also pipes in. Uh, yes, we're stationed here to keep an eye out for Eurasian troop movements and incursions. Uh, but it's pretty laid back, and something tells me you're probably not an Eurasian spy team. <laughs> <laughs> we're not uh, very no. stealthy. <laughs> Pro no. I'm not feeling very good. I feel very one HP about it. We all need a, a rest, <sighs> mate. Up uh, at your hand. At cast care. You're also all welcome to take a short rest and roll oh. up to half of your of your uh, <gasps> hit die for that. Then I let you roll your hit die. Just to recuperate <laughs> <Because> among, <laughs> around the fire for a moment. I'm consistently only Why taking damage like a 10 I'm HP at a time. I find my hit down level. Like, impossible. and then I rest because down. everyone is taking too good of care of me, and I, the whole <laughs> point is that I soak up damage. Do you know the map maker? Uh, and you, well, the person talking to you is a is a halfling, um, darker complexion with nearly white hair and very bright gray eyes. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Damn, do I know about the map maker? Because I don't remember. Well, you haven't heard a name yet, but you certainly know of. Is there a map maker in the famous book, map makers. in the book though? Oh, right. There is a map maker mentioned in the book. That is Viteran Tymor, who lives in a lighthouse. Oh, okay. uh, well. So, yes, you would know that map maker. Yeah. Who Ava visited. Um, yeah, we were... It's interesting. I would love to talk with him at some point. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid old uh, Tymor has faded a bit in his old age. Juvenis takes care of him best he can, but uh, he's just become generally distrustful of people. It's a shame. He used to be quite brilliant. And he is the Terran Timer now for the rest of you all to recognize his name. He is arguably the most famous map maker in at least the Western world. He charted all of Boros, mostly from his home, with technologies that many, even in your time of 1277, still wonder at and which he never disclosed. Impressive. By all means, sit around the fire for a while. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else want a drink? Uh, yeah, sure. Definitely takes one. Actually, they'll be yeah. moving on. Yes. Okay. They'll be moving on in a few hours, but uh, take your time in the meantime. There's no rush to get out. Thank you. Again, nothing really happens down here. You're incredibly kind. Thank you. Yeah. Well, of course. Honestly, we don't mind the company. I'd say after a few tours like this, we get sick of each other. And another one of the people like punches his arm. <laughs> Clearly. Which moves his whole body. No. <laughs> <laughs> sure, rest is good. Yeah. Um, and yes, I'd say a couple of hours goes by. Um, <sighs> as you're able to recuperate, recover a bit of your stamina, of your health, um, as you went through some things somewhat traumatic there as well. Um, have a bit of soup, have mm. some beverage, and um, before long, at about, I'd say roughly, yes? Soup question, does all of it have rabbit in it? Do you want to part without? I'm a druid. You can eat meat if you want. I definitely shouldn't. If I can be a rabbit. Okay. Is it enough <laughs> for me? <laughs> well, yeah, great. I mean, they can try and ladle you someone like without meat, like just like do the ladle on the I'm just, side. I'm of the not pot. gonna ask them to do that, so I'll just spoon broth. It has it has all rabbit chunks of rabbit yeah. in it. I, I still uh, have um. That's an I, excellent I, question. Yeah, I still have uh, a nut to crackers. <laughs> there you go. There you go. 
where's Kira? Did the bird? Oh my God! Come? Where's Kira? I don't know. If she was in the. I think she would. You can sense her, can you? Yeah. She's she in the dirt. <laughs> oh God. She's. <laughs> she did not come with you. Oh. Yeah. There she well, is. She's oh. <laughs> hey, bird. At least she's not in. If you're with us, knock once. <laughs> um, okay, you, that's fine. I if just... you can sense her, you sense her all the way back in Verdane, flapping, talk? flapping furiously. Okay, she. Okay, she got out. Okay, she got out. You can, right? Uh, that was the technical term. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Good. Yes, so but no. Knowledgeable you don't... about magic, right? <laughs> I know nothing about magic, but if she pops up, so she's gonna be able to. Right? I can't bring her back because I don't have the components. I she's on been, her way. She'll be here in a couple days. Weeks? <laughs> Weeks. We'll see if she can pop through dimensions. What's a component? <laughs> what components do you need? I need a lot of herbs, charcoal, and a like bronze basin. Okay, we'll be on the lookout for a bronze basin. Luca, you're in charge of the bronze basin. Is that okay? That's okay. okay. Fine. I start showing Bronze you like basic. pictures of things I've got in my bag. Like, I mean, would that maybe work? a little bit smaller. Okay, hold on. Dia, <laughs> as you're a little bit bigger. All right, okay. Dia's here. as you're relaxing on the fire, <laughs> Dia also goes around so all of you. <laughs> Dia also goes around all of you, and is pulling out like little bits of mush with linen um, to make poultices, and is like muttering under her breath in what well, by now you'd actually would recognize as Orcish. Um, and like putting it on your wounds and offering like little bits to to eat as well. It's like this will it'll help just Is this the mushroom mint thing? There's other stuff too. Oh good. There's like more in stuff. The <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Take some cuz I'm curious. Sure. It'll just it'll give you a bit more pep. It'll uh, help to take the edge off of what just happened. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a lot left, so I mean, by all means, let's use it up. There's really <laughs> It's meant it's it's I made it to be used. All right. Have at it. I appreciate it. Does it restore any HP, or is it just like uh, the poultices do? The poultices. Anyone who wants to use one uh, are each going to restore eight HP. Wow. Can I um, save a little bit for later? You want to save a little bit of that like, goo? Yeah, I want to. Like, I want to be able to. Actually, I'm gonna put it in the vial with the blood that I have in my pocket. That the dried Who's old blood. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> well. Why not uh, later? Yeah, you can have a little, little scraping of that muck. Yeah. Um, and anyone who took the offered like edible portion, <laughs> um, there's no specific like stat benefit, but you do feel like it helps to take a bit of the tiredness, the fatigue out of your bones. Oh. You could do it feel a little bit more address a level of exhaustion. It could. I say it could if you had one. Yeah. If I, you know, had one from being a friendly barbarian, exhaustion. yeah, that <laughs> would be great. Oh, if I could get rid of that. <laughs> Okay, do we want to talk about what happened with the stone to stone thing, or oh, no. are we just going to bury that for a little bit and uh, then don't come back? Bury, to... please. Are we <laughs> going to not talk about that for a little bit? I mean, what is there to say? Strong blood magic that allowed for teleport- Wait, teleportation. There are people all around us. Are we sure? What? I have so many questions. They've actually started like slowly packing up the camp. Okay, good. It's been, been a bit doing? of time now. Okay. So, was it Curse's magic that activated it, or was it just the amount of magic? Or the amount of blood? From what I saw... Oh, sorry. That's it. Thank you. Uh, from what I saw, was it when Curse started adding hers that it began to happen, or was it just a... Was it a quality or quantity <laughs> You'll say you noticed the blood, all the blood added to it, started getting more active and fluid once Curse's blood was added. And then once she really gushed onto Ugh. it a bit. Yeah. Um, it's when it really came alive. So like when her like lifeblood was going into the... That like, you couldn't tell for sure. Whether okay. it's like it, tied to her condition when emitting it. It's more just when she started actively bleeding on it, it really picked up. Which might be okay. a quantity thing, but it wasn't happening until Curse's blood was added. Yeah. Has anyone ever told you for any reason that you have special blood specifically. Uh, no. If any Definitely. stranger says that, you gotta go. Well, <laughs> no, no, I don't have any reason to have special blood that would do anything that doesn't make any sense. I mean, it does. You are plain touched, among other things. You are, I, 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 I guess. Well, uh, that's a kind way to refer to tief tiefling and asmar and 
people with other uh, with extra uh, planar uh, origins. Yeah. Um, so maybe it's just maybe it's like a tiefling thing. Maybe it might be something else. But all that to say, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. Yeah, you so thank you for trusting. Yeah, you saved us. Yeah. I don't like that we just got lucky. You know what I mean? Like that could, like we could have just, yeah, not. And it feels like that's gonna keep happening. You know, like they're gonna keep finding us. And if we're not strong enough, and we only get out of it by getting lucky, what do we do? I don't think that we used our resources. I'm not sure that was luck. All, there, all told, but I don't know how often we can use the resource of approximately half the blood in my body. I'm willing, but I don't think that it's necessarily uh, like sustainable. And you don't eat red meat, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's, no, you're right. We're gonna have some problems. We need to put together a plan, and we do also need to figure out the way to address maybe your possible iron deficiency. <laughs> <laughs> As you're Just talking, an <laughs> As you're talking, the Derizians have packed up and are like saddled up and ready to go. Uh, one of them, the first fellow you talk to, leans back. Uh, if you lack mounts, which it looks like you might, mm-hmm. the closest places you'll be able to reach on foot unless you're willing to walk days and nights in a row are probably going to be either the lighthouse or the wharf on the beach. Uh, besides that, the Nishta is on foot. Um, days and days and days, possibly longer north of here. No, that's okay. We'll go to uh, the lighthouse. Sounds like a pretty good stop. Sounds yeah. good. Thank we you. wish you luck. Um, and you know here, just for the road, and he tosses you a little bag um, that has what looked to be like little shiny, um, little <laughs> shiny uh, balls um, that have like a crackled texture on them. What's that? Uh, oh, uh, sweets from uh, Dorizia. Oh. Uh, oh, I pass those back to you. <laughs> Great, thank you very much. They're, they're a favorite, but we have a whole cut. Co- we have a whole box. It's. All of our uh, Omas descend them like constantly. So. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I know exactly really what that's charming. like. That's sweet. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you so much for as is this <laughs> allowing us to yeah. to rest for a moment. So we of course. appreciate it. I hope you get where you are going to, or away from where you are leaving. <laughs> wow. And, uh, <laughs> thank you. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's just I don't. I was. I was. Um, there and I was watching it all happen and I was like trying to hold on and I was so afraid that of leaving you guys, you know? Mm-hmm. And it not being solved and there not being a way out. And I, I don't want that to keep happening. I don't want to lose you guys. I think it's going to keep happening and we just have to be prepared somehow. We. I slipped into nothingness before. Mila has slipped into nothingness for a bit. Probably multiple times. Okay. (laughs) I'm (laughs) fucked up. Today. (laughs) (laughs) It's fair. (laughs) How do we get stronger? How do we... Hey, I'm very strong. So, I think that we're going to be fine. Let's... Let's get to this uh, lighthouse. And... Rest there, talk to whoever there is there, the famous map maker. Yeah, what's the... What's Get the, a lay of the land. Yeah, what's the fancy the book thing say about the... Um, and I'll pull it out. out. Let's, uh, and if, let's start walking and yeah. we can do this. Yeah. Walk and read. Yeah. And I'll like start doing my best to like, keep an eye around for... And I, Dia... I sure it immediately turns oh, yeah. to yeah. Dia also guys. craned over... Dia, uh... you can't... You, this is... You can't right now. I can't? No, you can't. <laughs> Astrid literally Don't. walks around. I didn't even want to until you just said that. What's the book about? Why are we being so weird? I'm just gonna like. She started being here. weird. So if she's gonna be shifty, we get to be shifty. I thought we really bonded We've in that all tower. Healed. We yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're good. we did. We all almost died together. Yeah. That's true. Which was super fucked up. Like that was really traumatic. That and was I was actually really traumatic. Feel like did I'm you, gonna process that kind of like after need the a fact. Fucking hug. Yeah. Wow. I realize you almost died. I get it. I'm sorry. It's. it's okay. I really like us. Apparently several times Look, today. it's literally become a punchline that I'm constantly brushing up against death. So we're a bit inured to like the power. Uh, yeah. While this trauma is so. going on, we'll pull back a little bit. But I don't want to interrupt it right now. No, I, I, I get it. I No, I don't mean to belittle that at all. You guys are all... Are you okay? 
I, I'm all right. I'm fine. I, you all are really like, again, I just, we can talk about it another time, but you're putting your lives really on the line for reasons I don't understand why you care about this so much, but we can get into it later. What's the book about? I I was hoping to like keep blocking her for you to look it up and put the book away. Yeah, I have been. I've been like skinning to know the chapter basically (laughs) when they talk about it because I've heard it a million times. I don't remember what's in the book right now though. Yeah, I mean, you're looking for specifically what? Uh, When Ava goes to the lighthouse. This is the book. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, Ava goes to Lighthouse and interviews you, Venice Flaccus. Mm-hmm. Now, at that point, Viterra Ta- Timor has passed away. Uh, the interview takes place eight years after the events of this. Um, but, um, yeah, it discusses uh, having met all of you um, the first time around um, and where you were going to head after. Notably, actually, in the book, you apparently had traveled from Travers Peak where you lost Iana Southmarch, then to the lighthouse, after which you proceeded to Suncrest, and there was an incident involving the extermination of an Aarakocra village, which did not survive. We're going the other way. Okay, and I immediately put the book away. Um, and I saddle up to Neela. Um, so we came from Traverse Peak. Bef- uh, wait, I keep saying we. It says they came from Traverse Peak to the lighthouse. Okay. And they met us, them. I'm gonna keep saying it. Um, there's not much. So maybe we can find something here. But there's no like, and then they almost died, or like, you betrayed them horribly. <laughs> the, okay, no. great, cool. <laughs> the the Arakoka village is destroyed. Next. So. I, I stopped trying to figure it out. All right, okay. <laughs> And anyway, any way you want to try to process your emotions is super valid, but the important thing is that you like sit in them and feel them. And I'm just trying to make her, uh, I'd rather her be sad than inquisitive. I've been prepared for a lot of stuff. Um, haven't gotten out a whole lot until recently. Um, so yeah, this, a lot of this is kind of new for me. It's kind of heavy. Um, I'll be fine. I think I'll I'll get through it, but it's there's going to be an adjusting period. I'm sure you all probably dealt with that too. There's no finish line. It's about constantly like when you're in the moment, processing it, moving forward and through it. Drink, (laughs) yeah, and don't drink about it. You have to sit with the emotion. Oh, I'm gonna have a sip about it. Um, Okay, and she just takes like a little swig. (laughs) Well, um, okay, that is. Oh. oh, my eyes are watering. Oh. <laughs> See, now you feel something. <laughs> Is that blood? Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't be. Uh, but you set off east along this little Hold dirt road. Hold on, what road. were they going to do? <laughs> oh, what are you I'm doing? I'm nosy. What are I you doing know. hanging back back there? <laughs> Kids? Uh, we're young adults. <laughs> <laughs> Look Thank it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I will not. Um, <laughs> Uh, I just want to say I'm very sorry that that happened to you, and that yeah you're scared. I'm I'm, I just want, I'm scared too. That's completely valid and accurate for what just happened to us. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I think that um, we're used to getting like knocked out, but uh, not used to waking up in uh, buried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I uh, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, and it's a uh, it's absolutely terrifying. But I know something that is uh, definitely not going to happen. Uh, we're not going to get separated, and we're not going to lose each other, ever. The fact that we found each other to begin with is uh, an absolute miracle in itself. You ran away from the circus, <laughs> exact same day. I arrived in port. Yeah. Think of the impossibility of that, and it turns out in another uh, I don't know timeline <laughs> that we had done that as well. That makes it a concrete event when you think about it, right? Yeah. So, it's happened at least twice. It means, I don't, I don't understand, and I'm definitely not religious per se, uh, in terms of how some other folks are, but um, that's something bigger. So, I have, and I checked my inventory for this, because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a weird inventory. I have a bell. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, 5e. Uh, <laughs> I pulled out. 
I, I have this from uh, uh, growing up. I, I grew up like on the farm, I guess. Uh, like a big piece of land. And in order to call the children in, like they would ring the bell. And when you hear it, like if you don't get back in time, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> uh, I, I want you to have it. Um, and if you ever need me, just ring it. Okay. You're okay. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm, I'm, at, I'm of course I'm okay. I'm glad you're okay. I just I'm yeah. You're right. <laughs> you're shaking like a little bit. I am. I've never um, I've never cared so much. I've never been so afraid of losing anything in my life. Uh, me too. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's actually very good. Being this afraid, imagine if you weren't. Do you have nothing that you'd care that much about? And I care very much about you, so. All right. Well, we should probably get back because at some point someone's going to pop up and just be watching us because that's usually what happens when we have these types of talks. So. Curse. No. <laughs> no. I wouldn't work there. I want any amount of power to be like, we're all staying here for two more minutes. <laughs> I promise it's going to be okay. Yeah, I believe you. And I, I feel the same way. Cool. All right. Let's go rejoin the others. They're probably still fighting about something. Uh, there was definitely nobody there. Until there was. Um, and Curse, as you finish your conversation and are trotting back, you feel a fuzzy hand on your shoulder. And Swift is silently just next to you. Jesus Christ. And <laughs> she says, Curse, I have only just met you. Yep. But you fought very bravely against unbeatable odds, and you nearly died for your convictions. That is very commendable, and I feel if all of your friends operate by similar principles, it will be an honor to travel with you for so long as we find each other in our mutual, mutual company. I learned common last year. You're doing great. Wow. Thank you. Very impressive. Uh, thanks. I will also rejoin the others. They are probably fighting about something. Oh, so is this I just hear. like we thought we were all? <laughs> are like we a... not? Is this not? It's nice. It's very nice. It's a little different. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm very effusive. I have misread the situation. Oh, that's okay. That's it was okay. really nice to hear. Thank you, Swift. I, 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 I feel the same way. I feel the same way. <laughs> and the second that Swift is like out of earshot. Goodbye. Just jive. Just what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Neely, give more uh, to Dia. Like, yeah, yeah. Just give another drink. Dia, you know what? I think probably, I'm good no, with just. I'm pretty sure that was poison. No, I can um, tell you it's poison. So. Watch. I take a huge. Sip of it. Wait, like, hang on. You're I, not a good judge of what's poison. I do you know poison. You take one HP of chug damage. Sweet. <laughs> we get back. Like, go what down the wrong pipe. What the hell is <laughs> happening right now? Drink? How, yeah. how are you all dying already? Can I insight check? I want to see if they did a smooch. <laughs> I keep getting bad. <laughs> you can just ask. Oh, you, can't, you can't jail every die. No, 18. Oh. It wasn't bad. I just can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Neil's catchphrase. Asking? No. You're not asking, but yeah. you're checking. Yeah, I'm just looking like <laughs> and go back to this. Looking vaguely disappointed in both of you. Curse, like right as they like rejoin everybody, like already, just goes, I love you. Um, and then like turns back to Pry. Okay. I love you too, by the way. I I love you. Just so you know. And it's like out loud. <laughs> not, as, not as quite as you said it. I have misread. <laughs> Why'd you go over there? Hmm? Oh. Oh, that's Swift. I know. Hey, Swift, you want to drink? Swift some juice. Yeah. Mm, we are not supposed to drink that in Tayo. You're not it in Tayo. I mean, you don't have mind. to. 
Uh, does, I, I think my mind's very sharp. I have tried it in the past. It causes me to miss with sticks. That's fair. That explains a lot. Oh yeah, totally up to you. No, no one is pressured to have some. I just want everyone to know that it's more for example. You do ultimately set off east. You're walking, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this has um, absolutely been a walk and talk. It's not a long walk, actually. Um, less than an hour, and you're buffeted by salty coastal breezes and the sound of crashing waves against the cliffside. Before you, nestled atop that very cliff to the oceans below, is a tall, white lighthouse. The paint's chipping a bit, uh, but it's still quite a sight. Smaller than the tower you just left, but still three or four stories in height, with an unusual glass dome at its top, perfectly spherical. At its base is a solid metal door on hinges, looking like it could take a shot from a trebuchet. I do not kick this one. <laughs> <laughs> sure? that, is, Gross. that is wise. <laughs> Have a drink. I'm gonna be in it. Well, why don't we just knock? Uh, wasn't necessary. Sorry, I just I, I can't it. not do it. I oh, love it. It's a very uh, small sounding door for the <laughs> big door. <laughs> it's a tiny it's knuckle. A one knuckle. Yeah. yeah, it sounded like a woodblock. <laughs> you knock and you hear a muffled voice inside. It sounds like it's coming from a full mouth. Uh, oh, hold on, uh, hold on. <coughs> so sorry. One moment. Take your time. You're okay. <laughs> and you hear the unlocking of six, seven. Ten different locking mechanisms, and the great Why? metal door creaks inward. Standing before you is a tall, lanky elf with ragged and unevenly lengthed auburn hair. He wears a long robe, loosely draped in linen, lined on all sides, inside and out, with tiny pockets, out of which protrude a volume of little notes of I various really sorts. Like he wears one pocket. <laughs> he wears one set of glasses neatly over his eyes, but another is perched on his nose, and yet a third appears to hang from his neck. My God! Aha! Uh-huh. It's Queen. Uh, uh, visitors, uh, guests. Oh, um, I was so unprepared. Deepest apologies. Um, I've just got cookies from the oven. If you'd like to try, um, they're Lord Timor's favorite. It's ginger with a bit of heat from the Jua peppers we order from in Gaza. Um, oh. If you'd like to join me inside, love that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Come on in, Thanks please. so much. Uh, what was your name? Uh, oh, mate? Oh, my manners. I'm so sorry. No, I am you, right. Dennis. It is a pleasure to meet all of you. What are all your names? Yeah, oh, I see where I made my mistake. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, see ya. Swift in the black. Oh, we go. <laughs> so we're doing um, Astrid. Okay, the Sibaran. Great. Yep. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, I, so nice to meet you. I appreciate the full name. I am Juventus Blackus. Oh, Ooh. thank you. And she actually, like, was like, Ooh. a whole name. <laughs> I given whole name. Hi, I'm Luca. Luca, pleasure to meet you. Curse. Curse. Uh, I'm Jab uh, Defrel. Jab Defrel. Ah, the full name again. Oh, I am blessed. Uh, <laughs> you want a full name? Uh, yeah, uh, Neela Beerbinder. Wonderful. Oh, I live oh, for these moments. Um, <laughs> oh, please come, come, come in, in, in. Yep. Um, and you do find yourself inside of the combination kitchen and dining space. And you do indeed smell fresh baked cookies, uh, the herbal tang of ginger, and a little bit of that sour heat of Jua peppers. The home seems fairly well kept up, although there certainly are articles kind of oddly stowed around. Uh, perhaps absentmindedly. A dishcloth is stuck to the ceiling. Uh, there is a book neatly filed amongst the spices and what looks like a clothes iron jutting out from a bag of flour. Um, there is a door to another room on your right. Now, um, I may not know what's brought you all the way to our remote little lighthouse, but um, um, I'm honored for your visit. I. We'll have to warn you. However, if this is regarding press or a biography, um, I will have to decline. Um, I already had to turn down that lady from the Bibliotheca Imperium, mm. I'm afraid. Uh, Viterran just isn't really in much of a state for that sort of thing right now. Not a problem. That's okay. Cookies? Yeah. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Uh, would you like a drink? Oh, no, thank you. I'm, I've got tea and I'm quite satisfied with it, but I appreciate the offer. Thank you for making it. Um, <laughs> and you all. <laughs> and those of you who do try a cookie, indeed get a wonderful taste, a bit of that um, 
that herbal uh, tang of the ginger, and uh, a surprising but not unwelcome heat from the Jua pepper. Of course, pry to you, this is something quite familiar and homey. Pry is trying not to cry right now. <laughs> Are you? It's okay? pretty good, Elsa. Don't look at me. I'm not looking at you, but. Curse being the only person I believe who can goes in and like wraps her arms around and hugs Pry. <laughs> I said, don't look at me. I'm not looking, I'm just hugging. Thank you. I have not. I haven't. That's just, it's been my. You want another one? I have a child. Do you Venice? Oh. Yes. Wait. Nila beer biter. You are correct. <laughs> How well can I help you? you? Uh, if it is not too much trouble, uh, could we maybe. Uh, Wrap a few of these um, for our friend uh, for when we d- depart. Oh, later. take as many as you'd like. Oh, my gods. Uh, do you like the cookies? Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you so much for uh, the compliment. I've only just tried the recipe for the first time, and that is so nice to hear. Brilliant. I, um, you know what? I, I don't want you to leave only with the cookies you can stuff into a satchel. A moment. <laughs> Um, and oh. he comes around with a little scrap of paper and a little baggie. Now, ginger you can find most places, um, but I've got the recipe here on a card if you'd like to make it, and a little bag of the jua peppers. These are the hardest things to find, of course. If you'd like to bake them yourself on your travels, we have loads of this stuff here. Thank you. Of course, yes. I, fellow fans of baking, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to share it with you. Make a mixture, I can probably. Now, I... Oh, oh. character, whatever, it's fine. To business, I suppose, <laughs> but uh, what brings you all the way out here? This is quite a remote location. Viterin does prefer it that way, or did. Um, okay. uh, why? Well, I'm afraid his mind is not um, quite what it has been. Mm. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, that's all right. Um, but what, 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 what do... What does bring you out this way? Um, and I quietly, to those who are looking at Astrid, um, I'm just like, there's, there's no reason, but it's just in the book that we came here, and I don't know why. Hmm. Um, we were brought here under very unique circumstances. Mm-hmm. Um, you see, we kind of uh, popped up, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Not too far from here, a uh, little bit of a stroll. Lovely. Uh, kind of out of nowhere. It is a wonderful part of the country. It is an unexpected part of the country we did not expect to see. You see, it was not hmm. but a little while ago that we were weeks away from here. Oh, you must have traveled rather quickly. We actually so did. Quick. Wonderful. But to my lighthouse, to our home, uh, why, I wonder? What brings you here? Just. Stopping by? Honestly, it was just sort of a trick of fate. We yes. feel drawn here. Fate is curious that way. Um, as you're conversing, Astrid and Curse, you both notice something. There are, around that closed door I mentioned, there are a few scant piles of what looked like unopened mail, parcels, packages, some minor personal effects. It's the one side of this room that's not as well kept up. Um, you notice something on the uh, on that one of those little piles that catches your eye for different reasons. Um, and uh, yeah, just sort of standing tucked in, enough that you can make out a bit of paper and an unusual seal. You see what appears to be a a uh, little parcel. But what stands out about it is it is covered in that navy blue with gold trim fabric yes. that you recall from the box containing the figurine yeah. back in Cornucopia. A neat little parcel with a seal closing the cloth. Uh, it stands out from the rest of the various documents and notes and mail as obviously you recognize it. Above game, can you remind me the name of the shipping company? Uh, that you were meant to deliver it to? The Bellevue Trade the Group? The Bellevue Trade yes. Group is the one I was trying to remember. The um, other one was the D- Dane's Tooth Dane's Logistics. Tooth. Was, Logistics. So it would have been the wrapping of Dane's Tooth Logistics then, in theory. No, that's what they, that that, they wanted the package, but it wasn't like from them. We were supposed to drop it off. 
trying to figure out who would have wrapped it and that who those colors are belonging to. Do you know? I know that? Roll history. I couldn't remember. I, just, I can't remember if I knew that or not. I'll give you a generous DC because you've studied the subject so much. Not generous enough? No, you're gonna have to just can give it to me. How generous I'm trying can to remember. you get? I'm not good at history. <laughs> I got a three. But, but if, like, not if, that it's, if it's like <laughs> a, if it's like a region or like a country, like yeah. would the traveling people have <laughs> never recognized it? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no, I don't know. You know what though? Actually, because I feel like that's for yeah. Asher. That's an easy one. Um, <laughs> oh, those maybe. those are definitely origin colors. Well, because the origin uh, like soldiers. They were, oh, dressed, right. they were, they were they dressed very it. similarly. Yeah, it wouldn't really require a role. You can oh, definitely wait, identify that not. as being an Eurasian palette. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Dion. Oh, yes. I'm sorry about the, the mess. Um, the Terran gets a bit uh, angry when I um, try to tidy his things. Um, he mm. thinks it's being uh, stolen from him. Mm. Um, but uh, yes, I, I've tried to make it look as nice as I can. It looks great. Yeah. Oh, it looks lovely. You have uh, a lovely home. Yeah. Yes, a lot of it has been long unopened, I'm afraid. Uh, the Terran hasn't really had the presence of mind to get around to it. I'm gonna like slink up to Jive. Can you get that package that's blue? Yeah, absolutely. Take it. And I'm just gonna like kind of block him a little bit. Hey. Uh, Luca, you're such an expert in interior design. Would you care to comment on the decorations inside of here? Well, I've never seen quite a design like this. It's very interesting. Oh, the interior, yes. I was actually inspired by the more? coastal vistas of the south of Tarif. And Juvena starts going off. Uh, what was your sleight of hand? 13. Not my best. Um, Can I help in any way? I'm aware well, of what's going on. you only had to beat a five. Oh, so, <laughs> because he's Juventus is so in like ah oh, yes and the reliefs <laughs> and oh, where did you get that from? The arch. Oh, <laughs> that what? Where did that come from? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How did that get here? <laughs> it's not supposed to be here. It looks like something from Tayo. Oh yeah. Oh, that might just be you know you, uh, the Terran traveled a lot in his youth and. Collected all sorts of knickknacks from around the globe. Made many friends in high places. Cool. Do you think we could meet the Terran? Oh, um. We're not, like you said, we're not like press or anything. We don't yeah. want any statements or anything, but we are uh, fans of his work. I suppose you it, could. It would be um, an honor to meet someone so well traveled. And you, you said he was in some kind of uh, like decline. Like you say it's not himself. What's you, the. If you wouldn't mind, um. It might, it might help him to have guests. Let me, I'll just, let me pop in there for a moment and see how he's doing today. Yeah. And um, I'll, I'll let you know. Just have a cookie, relax. Tea is in, in the kettle if you'd like to pour yourself some. I'll, I'll be right back in a moment. We, we have, we have an herbalist here. And she's very good if, if you're looking for <laughs> assistance can, solutions. Yeah. I can help something. Well, my only, pains or anything. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, uh, Astrid. Um, for that very much. Um, let me inquire as to his disposition at the moment, and I will let you know. Um, I'll be back in just a moment, thank mm -hmm. you. Um, and Juventus does disappear into the adjoining room. So I slice of hand, so I sneak the thing, and then he leaves. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. And you have the little package. Great. Perfect. Here it Brian's is. Brian's just blissed out eating cookies. Her ears are lowered like a young, uh, like, full elf. <laughs> <laughs> While he's gone, too, I just want to, like, rummage around and look for other stuff that might be interesting. The h hilariously, uh, Neela doesn't really read, so uh, it's just gonna be stuff that looks cool, but I did roll an 18 investigation, so while oh. everything else is happening, I'm doing that. I wanna take the package from Jai. Great. Oh, yeah, here you go. Thank you, this is a region. This is the same thing from the box that we opened on the boat. Mm -hmm. Okay. We should open it real quick before Yeah, that's, back. I'm gonna like, see, is there any, is it like, wrap, is like wrapped in the fabric, is there like, is it, so is it a box? I'm is trying it like to be a careful. Scroll? Like, what That's is it? There is. Why are we it is like a thin, mail? almost balsa esque little box that you can very easily just open once you would wrap the fabric. Okay, I'm gonna very carefully check it, and very carefully open the box. <laughs> and inside, you find two things: <laughs> a <laughs> tri-folded, <laughs> sealed letter, <gasps> and a little. 
bottle. What? I don't care that there's a prop. Props. This is male frog. It is. <laughs> Empty, mind you. If oh. you could pass those both down to Astrid. Take one down, pass it around. Stolen mail on the wall. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um. And would you read the letter aloud? I no. Yeah. I don't want to. No, I'm you, gonna, you, you gotta. Open you want me to someone else's package? Is a personal message? No, Esther? I just I don't like reading out loud. I'll do it. I'm gonna hand it to Curse. You want it? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Pass it on. By all means. Down, pass it around. <laughs> One mail on the wall. The letter itself has the letter itself okay. has a symbol on the top that mm-hmm. looks like an embossed relief or silhouette of a ziggurat. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the ziggurat. letter, the letter reads: Vatiran, may I still call you friend? I regret what time and conflict has made of our partnership, but I implore you to attempt just one more time. You are unique. One out of millions, and despite our differences, it is vital that your mind is preserved. I realize that the mixture has a lessened effect in your, pri- uh, your present state, and that it will be unpleasant, but you must still try. Please, send your findings via the usual route. I am counting on you, your friend, Sivos. Hmm. Okay. What does that What's mean that? to you, Astrid? Yeah. He's the ruler of Kassarath. Now, this is actually something known to most of you. Mm-hmm. Um, Sivis Elinkos is the current, one would say, dictator of Kesarest, the one who instigated so he's the, the ethnic purge known as the Sundering. And he gave him this empty bottle? And as you look at the bottle, you realize it is indeed empty and that a little crack in its top has sprung a leak in perhaps months or years past. And there is no longer any of the elixir left. There's don't you love dried, crusty stuff, and yeah. you can make love. Yeah, I'm gonna. I don't want to break into his mail all uh, the way. I'm gonna wait. detect Ooh, magic on the wait. bottle. Done that. Wait. Then what? Oh. You okay. If I eat it, will it do a thing to me that then I can do? I don't <sighs> know. I don't know if there's enough. To even work. Wait, it's how also, you... there's really nothing left. It's like remnant. Yeah, it's basically just dried, like, just dried crust on the inside. Also, you can't do spells, right? Oh, yeah, hey, I got a new tattoo. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 Holy shit. <laughs> it's been like, wow, we've been we consistent with the whole face then. tattoo. Yeah. Like, Holy. The doorknob creeps. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I did detect magic on it. Can I? You detect no magic on it. None on no. the bottle at all? Not even in the crust? <laughs> I want to put that box back. So yep, yep. That's what I'm, I'm going to slowly start trying to put yeah. cookies. Would be weird. Weird. Any, put any magic in the cookies? Because We've that eaten is so many. Only different. the magic of home. Okay. Aww. Aww. That's a pretty good Because it's getting sleepy. She <laughs> <laughs> cookies. Tell the story. Um, <gasps> You got read aloud too, and cookies is the best. The game. doorknob is turning, and Uvenus enters back into the it's room. Magic. Great. I sneak it the parcel back up. By the way, twenty. Dirty I 20. think it's uh, it's it's safe enough if you'd like to come see him for a moment. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, okay. And he holds the door open, and you are able to peer into this adjoining room, a rather spacious study and den. Large picture windows overlook the sea, and an extension built into the far side of the lighthouse. All around you, however, is the absolute worst clutter. Stacks and reams of papers, documents, drafts, charts, knickknacks, personal effects, souvenirs, letters, and gifts are strewn haphazardly around. And sitting in the very center of the room, in a little rocking chair facing the window, so short and hunched you can't even see him over its back, is no doubt the legendary mapmaker, Dwarven Noble, and now, unfortunately, a man, a shell of his former self, the Terran Timor. But that is where we will be ending. No! What? Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? No! Absolutely not. As we explore the mysteries of the dwarven map maker, the interviewee Ava never had a chance to speak to, and now with a curious connection, to an elven dictator, apparently a partnership that was mutually beneficial in the search for something that is a little bit mysterious. 
That is a wrap on season one <laughs> of the Boros Saga Bands Break. <gasps> what? And you have all advanced with... to level four. Oh. Yes! <laughs> All right. Thank you all so, so much for taking this adventure with us so far. That is the end of our first season, but stay tuned as we hope to bring you the next season in this incredible three campaign arc very, very soon. Join us on the Pixel Circus Discord. Follow us on the Pixel Circus on Twitter. Hit me up whenever you want. If you just want to like talk about the show or like lore, like I'll do it anytime. It's totally fine. Like, <laughs> oh my god! I just like I just, make, oh my god. make his whole day. Like I have so much. Okay, you, you just you, you hit me up. Uh, but one more time, let's go around the table. Tell everybody who we are, who we've been, and where to find us. Hi, I'm Ash Ignis. I've been playing Astrid, your half elf warlock who steals mail, apparently. <laughs> and you can find me at Arcane Faith with a Y everywhere on the internet. Nice. Hi, I'm Bria Angar. You can follow me on social media at Quiddy, and I've been Priviv, your drow cookie fiend cleric. <laughs> hey. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Aaron Gray. You can find me on socials at, at Aaron Gray, A H R E N Gray. Uh, I have been playing Luca Stone Talon, your air cocker burb monk, and it's is been it, so much fun. Is it gray with an A or an A? It is gray with an A. Never forget it. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sage Ryan. I have been Curse, your tiefling druid. You can find me everywhere on the internet at Not Sage. And Curse said she loved you the first time she met you all, and someone finally said it back. I love you. Oh. <laughs> I love Swift so much. This is Thanks, awesome. Swift. <laughs> I will kill them with sticks. <laughs> that is so literal. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I'm Omar Najam. You can find me at Omar Najam on Twitter, and I've been Jive Tapril, your tabaxi. Um, throwing the boots on the stairs <laughs> <laughs> to check for magic traps because that's definitely not how they work. <laughs> Rogue. Did you find it on the internet? Did we do that? He did. No, I, I did it at the I top. Like, I got distracted <laughs> by the boots. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Kaylee Bright. The boots I kept. Oh my god. Hi, I'm Kaylee Bright. Find me on Twitter, Hope Barbarian. I've been Neela, your uh, pirate human barbarian person. I love these people so much, and also, can we please keep playing? I want to play more. Okay, but what if there's yeah. more? Cut the feed, let's keep going. Oh, yeah. hey, you know what, hey, you at home, there's actually so much more to this, but what? our episode is running long, and we'll have to save so the rest long? for the next season. <laughs> In the meantime, I am Vince Castle. I've been your DM for this campaign. You can find me all over the internet at Vince Castle, and I just want to reiterate again, as I said in the top of this season, it has been my dream for many years and also a goal of many of those who played in our very original home game that inspired the entire world of Boros to finally bring this, the inaugural story of this world, the first story ever told in Boros, to the screen for you to enjoy. It has been my utmost pleasure to go on this journey with you and I cannot wait to show you what's coming next. So stay tuned, we are not done. It's gonna get so good. Until then, be awesome, love each other, I love you. Happy I said dreams. it the moment happy we met. Dreams. Happy, happy dreams. dreams. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Bye.